Chapter 511. Alternative Attack Methods. What are you talking about? Investigate. After hearing Yang Chen's words, Li Tianxu was taken aback for a moment, and then he laughed again, as if he had heard some big joke. This time, when Li Tianxu laughed, Li Tianxu didn't have the kind of joy, anger and ignorance that a master of the Daqing stage should have. After a frantic laugh, it took a long time to stop, and then Li Tianxu stopped the laughter and looked at Yang Chen with a cat and mouse look. He smiled and asked seriously, if this old man is unwilling, how are you going to handle it, Grandmaster Yang? I'm afraid it will be very hurtful. Yang Chen shook his head in disappointment. He glanced around inadvertently and replied faintly. I'm very curious. Li Tianxu stared at Yang Chen's face, confirming that what he saw and heard was correct. Yang Chen did say so and then asked somewhat puzzledly how would you do this? Only by this. Yang Chen smiled and raised his hand. A black mist suddenly exploded, covering the space where the two of them were. After a while, the surrounding area was dark and there was nothing to see. Li Tianxu knew that Yang Chen was holding a black gourd in his hand, but he didn't expect that when the black gourd was opened, a black mist would burst out. Although it obscures the line of sight, does it make sense for a Daqing stage master? With his spiritual awareness opened, Li Tianxu was about to probe the surrounding movement, but suddenly discovered that his spiritual awareness could only penetrate less than 10 feet away. And the surrounding space was empty, as if suddenly, he had come from a dense forest full of trees to an unknown space with nothing. This sudden change surprised Li Tianxu. What kind of magic weapon this black mist was, so that even a Daqing stage master can't penetrate it. The most terrifying thing that people face was not something that could be named, but the unknown. Because of the unknown, they don't know what will happen, that's why they were afraid. Li Tianxu was like that now. Suddenly he didn't know where he was, and he started to feel a trace of horror. But after all, he was a master of the Daqing stage, and after hundreds of years of experience in the land of demonic fiends, what kind of distress situation has not been encountered, this fear was just a feeling, and it does not make him shrink in any way. As soon as there was an accident, a light wheel flashed around Li Tianxu, it was a flying shield he carefully refined. Flying around the body at high speed, possible attacks would be blocked at all times. Immediately afterwards, two flying swords flew out from two directions, slashing towards the void. This was the life source flying swords carefully refined by Li Tianxu, and it was a double swords. Even if he can't see or detect any enemy with his spiritual awareness, he must take the initiative to attack first. The flying swords cut out of the void, as if it was cut on something. The softness was not affected at all. The feeling that the flying swords gave to Li Tianxu surprised him again, and he didn't know what was going on. Because he still didn't know where he was, Li Tianxu didn't even dare to move one step easily. Sudden changes in space, this situation was most likely to be trapped in a certain formation. Nothing has happened now, but once he moves randomly, it was likely to trigger an attack of the formation. Li Tianxu, who was experienced in combat, didn't know that he had entered a misunderstanding of thinking. He always thought that Yang Chen would be counted on, but he did not expect that he would always stand in place, and Yang Chen did not use any formation. The black mist was Liu Ming's reward to Yang Chen, the nine quite flying dust, and what prevented him from investigating with his spiritual awareness was the vines left after Yang Chen burned the demonized demon vine. He originally planned to refine a few pieces of protective clothing for the four women, but it has not been completed, it has been used here. Li Tianxu's flying sword cut on these vines. Even the yin-yang heaven burning fire at that time couldn't destroy the vines, so the mere flying sword was not a problem. The flying swords were slashing straight, but it just made the vines slack and had no effect at all. In the nine quite flying dust, there was a high concentration of demonic kai, and so Li Tianxu didn't dare to act rashly, he was greatly surprised at this. It took him almost a hundred years to find a formation that could condense the demonic kai, and it could only condense to a certain level. Yang Chen was so young, he didn't know what technique he used, and he could condense the demonic kai so easily. In the darkness, Li Tianxu suddenly felt something waving, but he found nothing after careful investigation. In the midst of doubts, a question about the use of demonic kai that had troubled him for many years suddenly popped up in his mind, and his eyes lit up for a while. Suddenly, a golden path appeared, sweeping away the confusion in the past. If this method works, the endless demonic kai on this demon continent would be controlled and utilized by Li Tianxu. What was the Daqing stage, after absorbing enough demonic kai, even a master who was about to ascend would not be Li Tianxu's opponent. No matter what, this demonic kai could induce a heart demon, which in itself was a sharp weapon, and no one could escape it. This discovery made Li Tianxu feel that this little trouble of Yang Chen was a blessing in disguise to him, and now it makes no difference whether Yang Chen was present or not, Yang Chen has no meaning to him. 
No matter how powerful Yang Chen was, he was only able to purify the demon orbs, but now he was able to use the demonic Kai, and there was no need to purify the demon orbs demonic Kai. The confidence in Li Tiangsu's heart was swelling here, and this action had been put into action there, the spirit power of his whole body was running, and he was starting to absorb the demonic Kai crazily. What's more, there was even a slightly smaller demon orb in his hand, which looked like a sixth grade, and he swallowed it without hesitation. The scenery in front of him was bright, but it was back to the original place. Li Tiangsu was even more confident, regardless of whether Yang Chen was by his side, he started to cultivate on his own. However, this kind of certainty only lasted for less than half of the time. The confident Li Tiangsu let out a fierce scream, his whole person jumped up like crazy, and the light shield went crazy around his body. Flying, the two life source flying swords also slashed in all directions, as if facing some powerful enemy. Yang Chen had just retreated a bit, leaning on a place less than 10 feet away from Li Tiangsu. Seeing the situation, he stepped back a few steps and moved further back. Li Tiangsu's madness continued for almost half an hour, and for half an hour, he was completely attacking and defending. Even Daching stage masters could not withstand such exhaustion, finally he softened and sat down. Then miles away, the other three experts who were blocked by the demonic Kai condensing formation arranged by Li Tiangsu, their spiritual awareness, also monitored this area. Suddenly discovering Li Tiangsu's abnormality, they were immediately shocked. In three directions, they didn't even discuss with each other, they turned around and ran, like a rabbit hit by an arrow. The Daching stage master suddenly became like that, asking them to believe that this was an accident, it was absolutely impossible. The most probable explanation was that he encountered an expert who they could not see or detect with their spiritual awareness. Of course, this couldn't explain why he would madly absorb the demonic Kai and swallow the demon orb without purification. It's just that even Li Tiangsu has become mad. If they run slower, they might be the next one. No one saw Yang Chen's movements, and no one knew Yang Chen's movements. In this series of changes, Yang Chen just gently touched Li Tiangsu with the phantom of the demonized demon vine in his sea of consciousness at the right time. Although he was also from a Tao sect, Li Tiangsu obviously couldn't resist the attack of the demonized demon vine. This attack was on the spiritual level, thoroughly inspiring the most desired part of everyone's emotions, creating a false satisfaction. To put it in a popular way, it was the most straightforward way to trigger the heart demons and make the attacked guy go crazy. As strong as Yang Chen was, he has been accustomed to many attacks from the demonized demon vine, it was of course not a big problem, but the guy who only has ordinary experience in the demon continent was not so lucky. The heart demon directly targeted his most proud part of the study of demonic Kai, it made Li Tiangsu's self-confidence extremely inflated. Silently, he took the initiative to absorb the demonic Kai, swallowing the unpurified demon orb, and then led to a further invasion of the demonic Kai, it was inevitable for him to go crazy. The hallucinated Li Tiangsu naturally attacked the non-existent enemies who were jealous of him until his spirit power was exhausted and then he could no longer recover. Even if he fell softly to the ground, Li Tiangsu's eyes still had an unrelenting gaze. His whole person has been immersed in hallucinations and cannot extricate himself. Shaking his head slightly, Yang Chen walked to Li Tiangsu's side and easily took off his Kiankin bag. Li Tiangsu's hobby was also special, his Kiankin bag was made into a bracelet, which was a very strange habit. When he opened the Kiankin bracelet, there were a lot of things inside, looking past it one by one. Soon dozens of jade slips were discovered. After sweeping it with his spiritual awareness, he immediately saw the contents of the jade slip. Among the jade slips, some were cultivation methods, some were pill formulas, but there were about a dozen pieces of tablets, and the records were the results of Li Tiangsu's research on demonic Kai. The formation method that condenses demonic Kai was listed impressively. Why bother? Why bother? Yang Chen shook his head again at Li Tiangsu, who was lying on the ground. He looked like this, even if he was someone with a higher cultivation level. There was no cure for a while, not to mention, Yang Chen didn't think about treating him from the beginning. The formation for condensing demonic Kai not only has this simple function, but also integrated protection. The array and a series of methods, speaking of it, could be regarded as a comprehensive array method. For such a long time, none of the demonic fiends came over, it was probably because they were blocked by those formations. Li Tiangsu did have two brushes in the study of demonic Kai, and his research on demonic Kai was indeed in-depth. He himself may also be cultivating formations and blending it together. In the demon continent, such a combination could definitely occupy a lot of advantages. No wonder the datching stage has been achieved and the harvest has been quite fruitful, not just because of luck. Yang Chen had taken a pill of Pei Yuan Dan and quickly recovered his spirit power. 
In his current experience, not only did he not use the golden bell, but even the yellow turban warrior body refining technique was firmly controlled by himself, otherwise the attacks of those demonic fiends would not cause Yang Chen to suffer any harm at all. Even so, Yang Chen was at most suffering from skin and flesh injuries, even the bones would not be hurt. But it was undeniable that the purpose of Yang Chen gaining experience was achieved, and the effect was very good. Just now the joint attack of the nine quite flying dust and demonized demon vine phantom made Yang Chen suddenly discover a good idea. When refining the sixth earth flying sword, if the phantom of the demonized demon vine could be used as a tool spirit for the refining, the demonic Kai plus the attack of the heart demon, he believed that the combination of the two was definitely a good weapon that could give many opponents headaches. He would just do it, Yang Chen won't delay, because the nine quite flying dust wasn't directly refined, because he didn't have the idea for refining the flying sword. Now that he has this idea, Yang Chen was of course planning to start refining immediately. The formation Li Tiangsu just learned could be used now, giving Yang Chen a safe place in the dense forest. After finding a suitable place and arranging the formation method with the materials in Li Tiangsu's Kiankan bracelet, Yang Chen plunged into the process of refining the sixth earth flying sword. To put it bluntly, the soil was shady soil, fertile and humid soil, and the dust in the air also belongs to this type. The nine quite flying dust obviously belongs to the dust properties and could absorb demonic kai, which was also in line with the soil characteristics of absorbing water vapor. The body of the demonized demon vine must belong to the plant family, and it was also the second wood, the efficiency of the demonized demon vine in condensing demonic kai was much higher than that of the nine quite flying dust. Using the phantom of the demonized demon vine as the main body was no longer considered an attribute conflict, there was no problem of them clashing. After all, it was just a phantom and it has no attributes. But the combination of the two was like a long-term drought and rain, a match made in heaven. In addition to being able to slowly absorb demonic kai, the nine quite flying dust's biggest feature was that it could contain demonic kai. The addition of the phantom of the demonized demon vine could increase the speed at which the nine quite flying dust could absorb demonic kai many times. This was not over yet, the characteristics of the demonized demon vine, it could condense the demonic kai. The huge demon orb in Yang Chen's Kiankan bag was evidence. The flying sword that could quickly absorb demonic kai and could also condense the demonic kai. After attacking the opponent, in addition to the damage caused by the flying sword, it also has the terrifying effect that could trigger the opponent's heart demon. This flying sword is not yet formed, but has already made Yang Chen salivate. A few hundred kilograms of nine quite flying dust were enough for Yang Chen to successfully refine the sixth earth flying sword. However, Yang Chen was now a bit worried about whether he should refine a sword that conforms to the standard in the traditional way or refine it into other things. The nine quite flying dust could change shape at will. If he doesn't follow the design of the sword, strictly speaking, it can't be called a flying sword but some other magic weapon. It feels a bit inconsistent with his own yin yang five element flying swords. If you're enjoying the content, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe to Fantasy World for more. Chapter 512. The Unexcited Ancestor. Thinking of this question, Yang Chen was a little unsure, but soon Yang Chen stopped worrying about it. Why bother? Regardless of whether it was a flying sword or other forms, it was only a form of a magic weapon in the final analysis, and it was not true that the immortal beheading blade could only accommodate flying swords but not others. There was no need to cause a flaw in the mind because of this, as the surroundings were full of strong demonic kai. Wouldn't it be too stupid to get caught up in this little problem? However, after all, he hesitated for a while before doing it. The mood was not completely calmed down, and a channel for venting was needed. Therefore, Li Liheng, the young master of the Greatest Heaven sect, became Yang Chen's target as a punching bag. Li Liheng had to cultivate outside now because he almost went crazy last time. There was no other way, no cultivator could escape this process, even the young master of the greatest heaven sect, the top sect of the Tao sects, there are moments when the cultivation base was stuck on the bottleneck. It was not possible to have no heart demon without a distinguished status. Fortunately, with the identity of being a young sect master of the greatest heaven sect, almost everywhere in the Tao sect's domain could be said to be unimpeded for him, and there were people who pleased him flattery wherever he went, even more beautiful than in the sect. This made Li Liheng's mood a lot better, and it didn't seem to be unacceptable to go out for experience. Especially Yang Zai, who was clever and able to do things, was thoughtful not to speak on the road, and it makes people very happy to speak. Especially what makes him most comfortable was that Yang Zai often finds some beautiful female cultivators to serve him, making Li Liheng reluctant to think about it. However, Yang Zai was not without a small plan. Every time a female cultivator was found, she would accompany the young sect master for at most 10 days, and then she would be taken away by Yang Zai. 
Li Lehing naturally understood in his heart that it was human nature to fear that these female cultivators would compete with Yang's eyes sister Yang Lan. And from the bottom of his heart, Li Lehing was still very satisfied with Yang's eyes approach. He was a guy who likes freshness, and those women were just playthings, not enough to make him tempted. Yang's eye helped him deal with it and let him really enjoy the taste of pleasure. Li Lehing was now anxious to be able to contact the senior Liu Fengzi immediately to prove his identity. Otherwise, if he had been suspected, then he could imagine his future. In this state of mind, indulging in some female cultivators was also a way to vent. Fortunately, even though he was reluctant to think of it, Li Lehing did not forget to cultivate at a fixed time every day. He knows where all of this comes from, so he has not dared to slack off. This attitude won the affirmation of several elders who were secretly protecting him. Acting ridiculous was absurd, but knowing what your main goal was, that's enough. A cultivator doesn't care about that much, as long as it was not coercion, the two parties were willing, whatever happens was good. Just after enjoying the taste of a female rogue cultivator, Li Lihing suddenly felt the familiar aura of the predecessor Liu Fengzi when he was cultivating. Hello, senior. This time, Li Lihing didn't wait for Yang Chen to ask questions. He took the initiative to say hello to the predecessor, and immediately afterwards he couldn't wait to tell him the secret communication that the sect master had told him. Yang Chen calmly listened to Li Lihing's words that seemed very reasonable to greet each other, but very unreasonable on this occasion. No words were spoken from beginning to end. After Li Lihing finished speaking a lot of words, Senior Liu Fengzi didn't respond. Li Lihing also froze there. How was this going? What he was talking about was the identification code of the senior staff at the periphery of the Greatest Heaven sect. How could Senior Liu Fengzi not say a word, still looking at him coldly? Could it be that the code word was wrong? Otherwise, how could Senior Liu Fengzi's complexion be so serious, and the pressure he felt was getting heavier, and he almost couldn't hold it? Fortunately, this was in contact with spiritual awareness. If it were face to face, maybe Li Lehing would be directly pressed to the ground by the pressure released by Yang Chen. Senior, this is the highest level contact code of my greatest heaven sect. This junior is not a pretender. Li Lehing was shocked and hurriedly explained to Yang Chen. At this time, he didn't care about other things, so he had to verify his identity first. Sure enough, after saying this, the pressure on Liu Fengzi's side became much less, at least Li Lihing was able to face it calmly, no longer having the appearance that he would not even dare to sweat. The mind shows no sign of lying. Senior Liu Fengzi finally spoke, and the pressure just as a mountain disappeared without a trace. Li Lihing finally breathed a sigh of relief. It turned out that the senior was testing whether he was lying just now, the senior was really cautious. However, he thought about it the other way around. If it was changed to him, and someone who had never been in contact with him uttered this code word in front of him, he would also investigate it and would not easily believe it. It was normal for the senior to do this. Yang Chen was also a little stunned at the time, he was just trying to frighten this kid and vent some of his own frustration, but he didn't expect to know such a big secret. Yang Chen remembered the secret words Li Lihing mentioned firmly, this kind of confidential things might be useful someday. Well, looking at your recent appearance, it seems that you are a little diligent. What happened? Senior Liu Fengzi's attitude eased, and Li Lihing immediately became like a spring breeze, unspeakably relaxed. Listening to the concerned words of the predecessor Liu Fengzi, Li Lihing was almost moved to shed tears. Fortunately, this set of secret words left by the sect was also useful in the spirit world, otherwise, if his identity was suspected by Senior Liu Fengzi, that would be a disaster. Even if the senior didn't say it in his heart, as long as the thing passed to him was one or two more fallacies, it would be enough to ruin his life. Now it's raining and the sky was clearing, and the clouds are clearing. There was no need to worry about the troubles with the predecessor. In the future, he could live the life of a high-powered young sect master, it was simply a smooth journey. This younger generation junior was suddenly agitated with a heart demon a few days ago, so I came out to cultivate, and now I am gaining experience. He was happy, but the senior's question was still answered meticulously. This was an attitude that Li Lihing had to make himself take, respecting his predecessors and making sure that Liu Fengzi was satisfied with him. Oh. That's the case. Senior Liu Fengzi uttered, nodding slightly, and suddenly realized you can solve the heart demon, no wonder your cultivation base is diligent, you are a talented young man, congratulations. Senior, this younger generation has an unsympathetic request. Please do your best to resolve the confusion. Seeing the rare opportunity, Li Lihing hurriedly asked Senior Liu Fengzi a request. Oh? What's the problem? Senior Liu Fengzi was in a good mood and asked him to speak indifferently. The spiritual awareness of this younger generation is troublesome, and I have been relying on the spirit congealing pills. Li Lihing started talking, as if he had found an elder who could confide in him, and told Li Lihing all his troubles. 
Li Lihing also has tremendous pressure in his heart. In the sect, everything was maintained on the basis of the spatial spiritual awareness cultivation method. Even when he was established as the young sect master at the beginning, Li Lihing himself didn't know what it was for. At that time, like everyone else, he secretly guessed that he was the illegitimate son of the sect master. Later, it was gradually discovered that sect master Li did not take special care of him, and no one else had ever treated him as a young sect master, which made Li Lihing a little suspicious. Finally, he was able to keep the clouds open and see the moonlight, and his spatial spiritual awareness cultivation method had a small achievement. When he contacted senior Liu Fengzi, everything changed drastically. A qualitative change has taken place from power, resources, and even the effectiveness of his words. Li Lihing suddenly understood why he became the young sect master, it was just because of the cultivation method from the sect. If Li Lihing can't cultivate successfully, he would be abolished from the position of young sect master within a few years and become an ordinary disciple of the greatest heaven sect, which would stun everyone. In this situation, it was impossible for Li Lihing to say that there was no pressure, especially knowing that his spirit congealing pills was bought from Yang Chen at a huge price by the sect, and the master of the foreign affairs hall of the sect even bowed his head in front of Yang Chen several times, all hope seemed to be on the young sect master. Even if Li Lihing could still contact Liu Fengzi from time to time, Li Lihing has always had a sense of crisis, especially when the consumption of the spirit congealing pills were increasing and the inventory of the sect was decreasing, Li Lihing was even more anxious. Old ancestor, this disciple asks the ancestor to give a way to cure this disciple's spiritual awareness troubles so that the sect will no longer be blackmailed by that wolf-hearted fellow. This disciple would be very grateful. After finishing saying his fear and worry, Li Lihing almost burst into tears and said this request. But boy, you are wronged. When senior Liu Fengzi passed these words to Li Lihing, Yang Chen almost wanted to vomit it out there, but the play still had to be continued, so Yang Chen still did it, maintaining that kind of kind attitude he comforted it seems that your heart demons originated from this. Listening to the words of such care from the predecessor Liu Fengzi, Li Lihing almost shed tears in his eyes. Others only saw Li Lihing as the young sect master, who would have thought of the distress in his heart. I implore the ancestor to take pity and help this disciples to solve the problem, so that the sect will not be controlled by others. Li Lihing was almost crying, his attitude was a mess, and even Liu Fengzi's title was changed from predecessor to ancestor without knowing it. He. Liu Fengzi sighed, as if with an unspeakable regret. This long sigh made Li Lihing almost desperate, only feeling that a scoop of cold water poured from his head to the soles of his feet, and his whole body was completely cold. The practical solution to your troubles is the spirit congealing pills. Liu Fengzi's next words gave Li Lihing some small expectations. Since this was the right way, there should be other ways to do it, right? As long as you endure for a few decades, everything will be calm. At that time, as long as you concentrate on cultivation and with your qualifications, as long as you can communicate with the old man in a mere four to five hundred years, why bother to be in a hurry? Liu Fengzi's words were always full of persuasion, and many of them also imply that Li Liheng must endure the trouble for a while. Old ancestor, you don't know how much the hateful thief extorted my sex belongings for the sake of the spirit congealing pills. When Li Liheng heard the ins and outs of these words, it seemed that there was really another way, and his heart was filled with hope. Seeing that the ancestor's attitude was not very firm, he immediately began to lobby to increase his persuasiveness. Oh. Blackmailing the greatest heaven sect. Is he going to die? Liu Fengzi said just a very ordinary sentence, but he said it was very domineering, the confidence in it was very useful to Li Liheng. However, this time was obviously not the time to use these, but to arouse the ancestor's feelings of the same enemy and tell him another way to solve the spiritual awareness problem, a way to get rid of Yang Chen's control and not to be controlled by others. That thief is the only fifth grade alchemist in the mortal world. Now the sect only finds him an alchemist who could refine the spirit congealing pills. For the sake of the younger generation junior, the sect has to be blackmailed by him. Li Lihing gritted his teeth and said the senior members of the sect even bowed their heads at the expense of humiliation, and this disciple can't bear it anymore. Li Lihing took him as a thief, making Yang Chen want to scold him back in his mind, but unfortunately, this could only exist in his thoughts, it was impossible to put it into practice. A mere spirit congealing pill, he dared to blackmail several seventh grade fire seeds of the sect, and he also got an ancient secret medicine garden space that was planted with hundreds of thousands of years of elixir. In order to increase his persuasiveness, Li Lihing even bought the price of the pill, and he told Liu Fengzi. He deceived people too much. As expected, when Liu Fengzi heard this, he became infuriated. It's okay if he doesn't ascend, but once he ascends to the spirit world, this old man will personally smash him into 10,000 pieces. Liu Fengzi was angered, and his anger erupted like a volcano. 
the surging momentum almost made Li Liheng's consciousness almost like it would be crushed into pieces. However, Li Liheng no longer felt scared at this moment. Although he was extremely uncomfortable under such pressure, Li Liheng's heart was full of pleasure. He successfully provoked the anger of the old ancestor, thinking that the ancestor who couldn't do anything about Yang Chen in the future would more directly improve his abilities and let him go to deal with Yang Chen. Hell Li Tianqing, let him send someone to kill this guy right away and get everything back. The ancestor was not only an angry person, he was also about to take action. Old ancestor, the sect master, for the sake of this younger generation junior, would rather bear the humiliation and also leave someone who can refine the spirit congealing pill. Li Liheng's contrived works were simply good for singing, thinking and playing, and he can't help it. People were not convinced. As long as this younger generation junior still needs the spirit congealing pill for one day, the thief has to be exploited and blackmailed one day. There is another way to solve your problem. With a series of preparations, Li Liheng finally heard the sound of nature he wanted to hear. If you're enjoying the content, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe to Fantasy World for more. Chapter 513. This method is somewhat deviated from the usual traditions of our Tao sects. Before telling the specific method, Liu Fengzi still stated the drawbacks of this method. This was also the reason why he has been reluctant to teach Li Liheng speaking more seriously, it's like a demonic method that hurts the world and the truth. At this time, Li Liheng didn't speak much, just listened quietly. He heard from the words of the ancestor that the ancestor had not made a final decision and was still struggling. If he speaks himself, it may affect the judgment of the ancestor. Once the ancestor withdraws the decision, wouldn't he lose more than gain? This old man doesn't recommend you to use this method. Liu Fengzi was not so indifferent and his words of persuasion was thorough from the beginning, you are the promising young sect master of the sect and the future master of the sect. It's best not to delay your bright future for the sake of some mere enthusiasm. This disciple understands. Li Liheng put on a posture of listening to the teachings and then responded to the ancestor this disciple will not use it without authorization. This disciple will first inform the sect master and ask the sect master to decide. Obviously these words made Liu Fengzi feel that Li Liheng respects his teacher and respects his teachings, finally he started talking about that method actually, there should be records in the sect classics. You go back to the sect's hidden scripture pavilion. Go find a piece of free devil heart sutra, that is the spoils obtained when the sect's predecessors killed a certain demon. There are some things in it that should work for your current situation. The disciple thanks the ancestor. Li Liheng was overjoyed, the ancestor finally told him the way. Why wouldn't it make him ecstatic? If it hadn't been for a few spirit congealing pills this time, he would have reached the point where he couldn't hold on. Li Liheng wanted to disconnect from the ancestor immediately and then go back to the sect to search for that piece of the free demon heart sutra. The next step was to ask for help. The ancestor almost knew everything to answer, but Li Liheng actually had no thoughts on this. After hurriedly asking the questions that the elders explained one by one, he looked exhausted. Of course, in addition to his own desire to disconnect, it has nothing to do with the coercion of Liu Fengzi this time. The result was the same anyway, after disconnecting. The young sect master Li Liheng immediately fell into a coma and fell into a deep sleep. This situation has happened many times, and it's no surprise to the people around him, it's just that when the young sect master just fell unconscious, an elder from the greatest heaven sect immediately appeared outside the door, which still shocked them. The elder who appeared was naturally a core elder who secretly followed Li Liheng to protect him. Li Liheng's performance just now was exactly the same as before. He immediately knew that Li Liheng had successfully contacted Liu Fengzi once again. Last time Li Liheng was suspected, the senior officials of the sect were very anxious, so they wanted to explain the misunderstanding clearly, they didn't know if Li Liheng had completed it. Finally, when Li Liheng woke up, the elder drove everyone out. He Aaron arranged restrictions and began to ask for details. Hearing Liu Fengzi finally believed in Li Liheng, he took a sigh of relief and finally let go of the heart that had been burdened for a long time. The predecessor did not misunderstand that this was the best. After his mood calmed down, the elder continued to ask what happened later. On this point, Li Liheng was very clear about it. He clearly knew where his power came from at this time, so in front of the sect master and these core elders, he has never reserved or lied. Listening to Li Liheng finish talking about his exchanges with senior Liu Fengzi. The elder couldn't help but look at Li Liheng a little differently. Li Liheng knew that the sect had paid a lot for himself, and he also knew that he was indeed loyal to the sect by crying for help from predecessor Liu Fengzi. Especially when Liu Fengzi analyzed the pressure Li Liheng was under, as the source of his heart demons, he suddenly sighed. The elder had already understood at this time, if he wanted Li Liheng to get rid of his inner demons, it seemed that he could only improve his cultivation and get rid of the dependence on the spirit congealing pills refined by Yang Chen. 
even the elder could understand that the reason why Li Lihing had to entangle with those female sisters outside was to relieve this pressure and forget everything he had endured through sensuality. From this point of view, there was actually no point in allowing Li Lihing to continue to cultivate outside, but there was a danger of degeneration. Let's return back to the sect. With a big hand, the elder decided Li Lihing's itinerary interrupted his experience and rushed back to the sect with the fastest speed. The same words were said again in front of the sect master and several other core elders, and everyone was lost in thought. Sect master Li did not make a decision first, but asked the elder in charge of the hidden scripture pavilion to find the free devil heart sutra that they did not know when it was placed in the hidden scripture pavilion, he wanted to see what it was like. The cultivation method could make senior Liu Fengzi say that it hurts the world and the truth. In any case, he had to wait until he finished reading and understanding before making a decision. Yang Chen was very happy to get the high-level contact code of the Greatest Heaven sect. Li Lihing explained clearly that this was prepared for the high-level spies who had been installed outside the Greatest Heaven sect. Generally these people were masters of other sects or important figures. They secretly control certain sects for the Greatest Heaven sect. When they ascended, it was impossible to reveal their identities. Therefore, after ascending, there must be a set of code words for identification in order to reach the spiritual world so the predecessors of the Profound Heaven sect could recognize each other. The code word Li Lihing uttered was of the highest level, directly equivalent to a high-level figure at the core elder level of the Greatest Heaven sect. With this set of secret words, when he reached the spiritual world, he might be able to get a place in the Profound Heaven sect. As for teaching Li Lihing to use the method recorded in the Free Demon Heart Sutra to solve his spiritual problem, it was a trap that Yang Chen has already prepared for the Greatest Heaven Sect. Now the Greatest Heaven Sect's demand for the spirit congealing pills was increasing. Even if 5,000 pieces were refined last time, according to Li Lihing's consumption rate and Liu Fengzi's estimation of Li Lihing's cultivation base, his cultivation base was increased enough without any help. Before communicating with Liu Fengzi, it was estimated that it was still not enough. There were three roads in front of them. One was to continue to look for Yang Chen, but Yang Chen would blackmail them, he believed the Greatest Heaven Sect definitely was not willing. The second was to find another high-level alchemist who could refine the spirit congealing pills or simply train one themselves, but that would take hundreds of years or longer. The third was what the predecessor Liu Fengzi said, the Free Demon Heart Sutra. Yang Chen was very sure that Li Liheng would choose the third one. Being able to directly improve his spiritual consciousness cultivation base for Li Lihing's was by no means an ordinary one. This means that his power would be further strengthened. Even if Li Lihing could hold himself back, he believed that the guy named Yang Zai would try his best to seduce Li Lihing. Unexpectedly, when Yang Zai was inadvertently left behind, there would still be such benefits. Yang Chen also heard about what Yang Zai had done in recent years through other channels, which suits Yang Chen's appetite. With his help, he believed Li Lihing would go further and further on the road to the destruction of the Greatest Heaven sect. It's just that Yang Zai was pitiful. He thought he was constantly causing trouble for Yang Chen and avenging himself. Of course, Yang Chen would not easily break Yang Zai's illusion, he also counted on Yang Zai to give advice to the noble young sect master. Naturally, this was just a small trap, the real big trap was still behind, and it was a plot that all the high levels of the Greatest Heaven sect cannot refuse. However, it was not very appropriate to throw it out now, it was always good to choose an appropriate time. Yang Chen was in a good mood now, it was indeed the right way to vent some grievances. It was a combination of work and rest. You can't always focus on the stressful life and cultivate, it is always necessary to relax properly. There was no point in stressing whether it was the Sixth Earth Flying Sword or the Sixth Earth Magic Weapon, so he would just use the Sixth Earth Magic Weapon. Yang Chen made a decision and after checking the surrounding formations, he began to refine his own magic weapon. The demonic Kai on the nine quite flying dust must first be absorbed and purified, and then reabsorb the demonic Kai after the refining was completed, otherwise Yang Chen would always carry a high concentration of demonic Kai, and Yang Chen's refining process would not go smoothly. The demonized demon vine in the sea of consciousness was still entangled by the threat of spiritual awareness, and the demonic eye of the nine quite flying dust entered Yang Chen's sea of consciousness, it joined the body of the strong demonized demon vine. It was undeniable that the demonic eye contained in these nine quite flying dust, who have not known how long they have existed, far exceeds Yang Chen's imagination. Even in the middle of absorbing the demonic Kai, Yang Chen had to temporarily stop the absorption process and spend a long time tempering himself with the demonic Kai again. This process almost circulated at least five times, and only then did all the demonic Kai and the nine quite flying dust was removed, and then the final preparations before refining was to begin to familiarize himself with the materials. The nine quite flying dust was directly permeated everywhere in Yang Chen's sea of consciousness. 
The particles of this flying dust were extremely small, even if it was magnified by Yang Chen's sea of consciousness many times. It still looks very subtle and can't be seen clearly at all. After carefully understanding the characteristics of the nine quite flying dust, Yang Chen began to refine. Before the formal refining, Yang Chen first used the universe nourishing treasure secret art to nourish the nine quite flying dust so that the refining process would not be too difficult. His powerful spiritual awareness would remove all the nine quite flying dust without any obstacles, after he made his spiritual awareness imprint, everything would become simple. The most troublesome process was to refine the phantom of the demonized demon vine as a magic weapon, but this was not difficult for Yang Chen. He has the knowledge and experience of a great Luo Golden Immortal from his previous life. He has a powerful spiritual awareness of the second grade human immortal realm. Adding a tool spirit to the magic weapon was not a troublesome thing. The only thing that made Yang Chen feel pity was that when he was refining the weapon spirit, the demonized demon vine, which was the weapon spirit, had a weaker success rate. Even with Yang Chen's current toughness, he still couldn't make the demonized demon vine phantom rise to its maximum and could only be controlled within a few radius. He forcibly used his spiritual awareness threads to invade the remaining little consciousness of the demonized demon vine phantom, carefully retaining the demonized demon vine's instinct to devour and condense the demonic Kai, and then successfully penetrated the spirit into the already formed magic weapon. This was the only one of Yang Chen's great yin yang five elements magic weapons that possesses tool spirit. The whole body was pitch black, even without a fixed shape. It was just a thick black mist, changing its shape from time to time, according to Yang Chen's control. When Yang Chen doesn't control it, it's a black smoke that looks naturally diffused. The refining process was not perfect for Yang Chen himself, because Yang Chen's great yin yang five element magic weapons has not yet been fully assembled. Although the sixth earth secret art has been obtained, he has not yet cultivated it, but he has the spirit power of the sixth earth. It was not the essence spirit power, relatively speaking, the effect of refining magic weapons was weak. However, Yang Chen didn't plan to cultivate the sixth earth secret art at this time. These essence techniques could all be used for breakthroughs at critical moments, and they would be wasted if he cultivated them. The magic weapon could still be refined at that time, he believes that after the baptism of the sixth earth true secret art, the quality would be even higher. There was no need to control it, this diffuse black mist naturally surrounds Yang Chen, setting off Yang Chen like a demon god. When Yang Chen thought the black mist turned into a black robe, it suddenly turned into a black armor which was very comfortable. The newly refined magic weapon, Yang Chen, called it Nine Quite Flying Sword in a very nasty and interesting way. Although it was not in the form of a flying sword, Yang Chen liked to call it that way. Because the Nine Quite Flying Sword had just finished refining, its tool spirit was deliberately weakened, the Nine Quite Flying Sword had also been purified before refining, so the demonic eye contained in it was not sufficient, and it still seemed very weak now. But despite this, the Nine Quite Flying Sword has demonstrated the effect of condensing Demonic Kai that was not inferior to the formation researched by Li Tiangsu. The Demonic Kai condensed by the formation around him has begun to float towards the Nine Quite Flying Sword one by one. As for Yang Chen's side, there was a dense Demonic Kai. But such a Demonic Kai, in the eyes of outsiders, they would definitely think he was a cultivator who was contaminated by Demonic Kai and then demonized, right? Maybe Li Tiangsu would have become like this. Although Yang Chen didn't kill Li Tiangsu, besides being demonized, he had another result, being killed by the demonized monster, and there was no other possibility. Even if someone wants to save him, a Daching stage cultivator who has gone crazy and almost goes crazy, it was already burning incense if he doesn't backhand kill the person who saves him. What's more, this was the demon continent, if not close relatives and friends, who would be so kind. Maybe they met and found a chance, and if he killed them first, he could find some benefits from the corpse, this was the truth. But the flick of his hand, the nine quite flying sword turned into a black long whip, and he drew it on a large tree next to it. The black demonic Kai directly intruded into the trunk with a big opening that was broken. It took less than a moment, and the whole tree dried up and died. This was just a plant that could withstand the thin demonic Kai in the periphery, how could it withstand such an attack? The effect made Yang Chen very satisfied, but now Yang Chen still needs to find a suitable opponent to test the effect of the attack, whether it would really carry the heart demon power that makes people crazy. All of this needs to be verified again, depending on where we could find a suitable enemy. He can't help but say that his luck was so good that he couldn't understand it himself. He was thinking about where an enemy could come up to try the power of the Nine Quite Flying Sword, and immediately someone appeared within Yang Chen's detection. More coincidentally, the imprint of Li Liheng's consciousness in Yang Chen's sea of consciousness was slightly shaken, Yang Chen suddenly understood that the opponent must have a compass to track his whereabouts. 
If you're enjoying the content, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe to Fantasy World for more. Chapter 514. Demon Heart Magic Weapon. The distance was still far, the other party was just at the peak Yuaning stage, and the scope of his spiritual awareness exploration WSS far less terrifying than Yang Chen, so he didn't even know that his figure has fallen under Yang Chen's spiritual awareness exploration, he was just guided by the compass. While advancing, he beheaded the demonic fiends that kept appearing around him. Yang Chen calmly put away the demonic Kai formation which was a few miles away, and then walked directly in the direction of the person. As he walked, the nine quite flying sword kept absorbing demonic Kai. It won't take long for such a little journey, but it could absorb one thing. A little increase in the power of the demonic Kai may be able to make the opponent fall into a state of confusion. Within a few hours, the other party found Yang Chen's whereabouts, and the compass needle trembling clearly told him that the target of the trip, which was Yang Chen, was not far away, and his spiritual awareness also found Yang Chen's figure. However, this guy was a cautious guy. Even if he found Yang Chen's person, he still didn't dare to be completely sure, but he was cautious and released a formation flag with a stealth circle, wanting to get closer to confirm it carefully. Are you here to find me? Yang Chen broke the silence directly and asked without waiting for him to get close. Grandmaster Yang. The other party had never seen Yang Chen, but had only heard the description. Hearing Yang Chen's voice, he no longer concealed it, put away the formation flag, and asked in a very calm tone. Yes. Yang Chen confessed directly, and then asked, how do I call you friend? Don't be so troublesome, take out what elder Hu Qian you wants, and I will let you have your life. The opponent, a master of the Yuning stage, was naturally confident and domineering when confronted with Yang Chen, who was at the early Yuning stage otherwise, there will be one more demonized cultivator in this world. The black mist around Yang Chen couldn't be hidden from the other party's eyes at all, and Yang Chen hadn't planned to hide it. At least in the eyes of the other party, Yang Chen was now invaded by demonic Kai and looks overwhelmed. He thought he had given Yang Chen enough face by saying so, and Yang Chen couldn't help but refuse the situation. Oh? What is it that Elder Hu wants? Yang Chen asked with a smile. I don't know. The peak Yuning stage master smiled and replied, without giving Yang Chen a chance to speak again, he directly instructed so, hand over all your things, and I will spare you. Yang Chen could still laugh now, at least in the eyes of the other party, Yang Chen should be crying. The fifth grade alchemy master was not a strong figure in this demon continent. Demonic fiends do not care whether you are an alchemist or an expert. Those who should be demonized are still demonized. Now wasn't Yang Chen in this crisis. No matter that the cultivator was unhappy, Yang Chen's touch could be said to be handy. He deserves his luck, and all of Yang Chen's good things would be cheaper for him. This time, not only would he be able to find what the sect needed and make great contributions, but also could retrieve the things Yang Chen extorted from the sect. Those things Yang Chen extorted from the Greatest Heaven sect were by themselves a huge wealth. Whether or not they were returned to the sect, it means a huge benefit to the PQ Ning stage master. In fact, he didn't want to save Yang Chen's life at all. The reason why he said so much was to wait for Yang Chen to be invaded by the demonic Kai more deeply and to deal with him with less effort. As for failure, could such nonsense happen? If you want something, you'd better come and get it yourself. Yang Chen stood in place, no extra action, just a faint smile and provocatively said. You don't want to accept my good grace. Perfect. The cultivator grinned and summoned his flying sword without hesitation and slashed towards Yang Chen from a distance. In any case, this was the demon continent, so he was careful not to make a big mistake, the cultivator still did a good job. The demonic eye on Yang Chen suddenly soared and greeted the opponent's flying sword. Seeing this situation, the other party was stunned. Obviously he did not expect such a situation, but it was just a start, and he still controlled the flying sword to cut towards Yang Chen. As soon as the flying sword touched the black fog, it was as if a burning fiery sword had been inserted into a cold pool, making a hissing sound, which made people feel creepy. Even a dull person would understand that this demonic Kai was not good. The Yuning stage ancestor hurriedly recalled the flying sword and checked it carefully, but there was no major problem, so he was relieved. This kind of weird method, I think it's a demon sex technique. Unexpectedly, Grandmaster Yang Chen, a dignified fifth grade alchemist, was a demon, so it is necessary that this old man eliminate the demon and defend the Tao. Under the circumstances, the other party did not forget to find a righteous name, he called Yang Chen a demon and said that he was righteous and awe-inspiring, and he was an expert in slaying demons and defending the Tao. So much nonsense. Yang Chen retorted and directly turned the black mist into a huge whip and drew it towards the other party's head and face. How could the dignified PQ Ning stage master be hit by this attack method, the opponent's figure flashed, he had already escaped, and his flying sword immediately counter-attacked. 
The black mist suddenly rose, and suddenly the space of several tens of meters was directly covered, and the PQ&ing stage master was directly shrouded in it. Seeing the situation, the other party was horrified and hurriedly offered a few protective magic weapons to protect his whole body and was about to quickly leave the black mist. The prey that had entered the hub, how could Yang Chen let him escape? The nine quite flying sword could change its form, instantly turning into countless spikes, it stabbed towards the opponent wrapped in the center. No matter what magic weapon or flying sword, slashing at the black mist has no effect. Who has ever seen smoke cut off with a sword? The black mist penetrated directly onto his skin. As soon as he came into contact with the black mist, the other party felt a trance, and then distracted thoughts arose. He immediately noticed that it was not good, and hurriedly launched a pure heart technique to quickly suppress these heart demons. It can't be helped, but said that the cultivator was still determined after all. Although he was infested by demonic Kai, as soon there were signs of heart demons, he quickly calmed down. Sure enough, it's a demonic method, evil creature, you will die. Perceiving the abnormality in the black mist, the opponent was even more furious, almost taking out the effort to press the bottom of the box, regardless of the black mist attack, he was just attacking Yang Chen. It's a pity. Yang Chen on the opposite side could only utter such a sigh. This nine quite flying sword, after all, it was not long after refining, and the demonic Kai was insufficient. Otherwise, just the moment it was just now would be enough to trigger this guy's heart demon, and he would directly become like Li Tiangsu, which was really a pity. However, despite the lack of power, Yang Chen still saw the process of the other party's obvious struggle, and then he immediately activated the heart-clearing cultivation method and was happy in his heart. This fully demonstrated that the Nine Nether Flying Sword had the effect of heart demon attack, just as Yang Chen had expected. It was enough to confirm this, and it does not need to be really powerful. If he had absorbed much demonic Kai to have a terrifying power just after he had just cultivated it, Yang Chen couldn't be sure whether he would be able to subdue his flying sword. This was good as it is, well Yang Chen was satisfied, it also means that the other party no longer has the value of existence. The other party kept talking about Elder Hu. Obviously, it was either a person from the Greatest Heaven sect or a person from Hu Qianyi's family, if he killed him, he would kill him, it's no struggle. Although the Nine Nether Flying Sword was foggy, it doesn't mean that it only has the power of heart demon attack. Since Yang Chen dares to call it a flying sword, it still has the power of a flying sword attack. Previously it was just to verify the heart demon attack, and now he was serious. Under the situation where the other party thinks that the black fog was nothing more than this, the poor guy was simply seeking his own death. Ai Kai, the sound of an unusually clear sharp blade slashing through the flesh sounded, and then there was a long scream that didn't fully shout out the throat, and then there was no other sound. The misty nine nether flying sword returned to the original appearance of a robe, and Yang Chen was very satisfied with it. In this demon continent, the most indispensable thing was demonic Kai, as long as the flying sword was always surrounded by demonic Kai, it could continuously accumulate demonic Kai. The dead guy's Kiankan bag was already in Yang Chen's hand, and after only a few glances, he knew the origin of the other party. Sure enough, it was a guy from the Greatest Heaven sect. Looking at the compass he brought with him, he must have come here specifically to kill Yang Chen. The Greatest Heaven sect probably couldn't finally hold back. From time to time, there will be demonic fiends jumping out, and Yang Chen would not bother and directly use the Nine Nether Flying Sword to kill them. Soon Yang Chen discovered that after the Nine Nether Flying Sword killed the demonic fiends, it could directly absorb the condensed demonic Kai in the demonic fiends, which was much more efficient than directly exposing it to the demonic Kai in the surrounding. After discovering this, Yang Chen felt happy for a while, as long as the demonic fiends killed were enough and strong enough, the power of the Nine Nether Flying Sword would increase rapidly. It has taken several months to refine the flying sword. Counting the time before and after, Yang Chen estimates that when he arrives at the agreed meeting point slowly, the day when he meets with the girls would arrive, so he found the right direction and walked all the way back. When the demonic Kai had been absorbed to a certain extent, Yang Chen discovered another characteristic of the Nine Nether Flying Sword. That was, as long as you touch the Nine Nether Flying Sword, all kinds of messy thoughts will keep coming up in your heart, even if Yang Chen's current spiritual awareness cultivation was so powerful, it cannot be avoided. And as more and more inexplicable accumulations, these kinds of messy thoughts have become more messy and complicated. Yang Chen needs to constantly fight against these kinds of distracting thoughts that he doesn't know where they come from, and he was tempering himself almost all the time. For others, this was definitely a heart demon that affects cultivation, but for Yang Chen, it was simply a magic weapon for refining the heart, and even Yang Chen could easily achieve the purpose of tempering his mood without specifically absorbing the demonic Kai of the demon orb. In this situation, if Yang Chen could still get used to and deal with it easily, he believed there would be nothing in the world that could bother Yang Chen. 
he has almost experienced all kinds of conceivable positive and negative emotions. No matter how strong emotional fluctuations were, Yang Chen would not be confused. This nine nether flying sword with the accumulation attribute was simply the most suitable magic weapon to be used on the demon continent. Of course, only people like Yang Chen could easily control it. As long as others dare to touch, it would cause unpredictable consequences. Strictly speaking, Yang Chen, who came from a dignified Tao sect, among the flying swords on his body, was the second wood blood phantom vine flying sword, and the sixth earth nine nether flying sword, were almost two demonic swords. One that sucks blood and grows while the other grows by absorbing demonic kai. They were demonic weapons that could no longer be more evil in the eyes of honest gentlemen. With these two flying swords, if Yang Chen was accused of being a demonic cultivator, Yang Chen would have a lot of difficulty in arguing. In view of this, it could be said that Yang Chen could only use the two flying swords carefully, otherwise his great cause would not be achieved, and it would not be worth the loss to be banished and killed. By the time Yang Chen arrived at the gathering point, it was already almost a few months later. It was only more than two months and less than three months before the days of meeting with the four girls. Along the way, Yang Chen killed a lot of demonic fiends, but as the few Daching stage masters who drove those monsters to him were gone, the number of killings dropped a lot, but he had already experienced brutal killings before, so his killing efficiency was extremely improved. This time, Yang Chen's luck was not so good. In two years, he didn't know how many demonic fiends he had killed, and he didn't even get a single demon orb, which made Yang Chen very unhappy. Of course, he was only a little uncomfortable, Yang Chen hadn't reached the point where he had to have the demon orb. The agreed gathering point was tens of thousands of miles deeper than the last one, and it was also slightly smaller. After all, there were always fewer and fewer cultivators. As soon as he entered the gathering point, Yang Chen saw an acquaintance, Li Cheng came to say hello when he first entered the demon continent. Brother Yang, it's a coincidence. Li Cheng also saw Yang Chen and greeted Yang Chen with a smile. It's really a coincidence that we met again. Yang Chen also said hello with a smile. He still had an inability to understand Li Cheng in his heart, but there was no particularly dangerous concept, he didn't know why. As soon as the two greeted each other, Yang Chen suddenly found that Li Liheng's spiritual awareness imprint in the sea of consciousness trembled a few times, as if several people were using the compass to track him at the same time. Yang Chen's expression changed. Before he had time to say anything, he saw several figures around the gathering point, slowly walking towards the side, and vaguely surrounded Yang Chen from several directions. Among the several people, the weakest one was in the late Yuning stage, while the strongest one was at the peak Daching stage. Yang Chen's eyes suddenly narrowed, and he stared at the most rickety old man. At the peak Daching stage, there was still a depressive aura on his body. Yang Chen directly guessed the identity of the old man. He was definitely a certain great elder of the greatest heaven sect. Boy, take your life. The great elder didn't care about the rules of gathering points not to use force at all, he just said one sentence at Yang Chen. Stop it. When Yang Chen was about to fight the opponent, Li Cheng beside Yang, Chen shouted at the great elder who was pressing on him, fighting is strictly prohibited at the gathering point. If you're enjoying the content, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe to Fantasy World for more. Chapter 515. Strength is the rule. Li Cheng's words seemed to inspire a murderous intent, and at the same time the words fell, a boundless coercion enveloped everyone in the gathering point. Under this powerful pressure, even the Daching stage masters felt a chill. The source of the coercion came from the rickety old man. While countless people were surprised, they also felt a huge shock. Such an expert, how high does his cultivation base need to be to make them, who usually fearless, feel fear? A few of them didn't seem to be affected, all of them appeared with this old man, distributed in all directions, firmly guarding the middle. Seeing this situation, the dozens of Daching stage masters around all inhaled cold air. In this kind of situation, everyone could be firmly suppressed, and it could be accurately controlled not to harm one's own people. What kind of cultivation base was needed? Rules. For a moment, the rickety old man seemed to suddenly become a brawny man with a lot of muscles. His monstrous aura rushed into the sky, and his cold words were like the domineering high above. There was no room to violate what rules. I am here. Wherever I am, I am the rule. All the people at the gathering point heard these arrogant and unspeakable words. There was a burst of anger on everyone's face, but strangely, no one stood up except Li Cheng. According to the rules of the gathering points in the past, if someone dared to break the rules so blatantly, he would definitely not escape the end of being besieged by everyone. The demon continent has been here for so long. Everyone has always felt that it was a natural rule not to do anything at the gathering point, and no one has ever thought of breaking it. But today, when a guy stood arrogantly in front of everyone and said loudly that he was the rule, these time-honored guys seemed to have chosen to be silent by coincidence. 
everyone who came here to gain experience, even if they killed more in the demon continent, they would kill them from low to high. It could be said that there were countless demonic fiends that have been killed by their hands. The number of battles exceeds the total number of battles that many people could face in a lifetime. Logically speaking, there should be no fear of battles in them. But this kind of unreasonable thing happened. Whether it was the Yuning stage ancestors of the masters of the Datching stage, when faced with the terrifying coercion of the old man, there was no idea in their heart to resist. Except for fear, all that was left was the natural feeling that it should be. This was definitely an old freak, and he was still so powerful that all the Datching stage masters present at the scene would not dare to challenge him. Such an expert, why was he here? The realm gap was really too big. The strength of this elder was already infinitely close to the human immortal realm after ascending. As long as there was no cultivator who had not been through the tribulation, under such a big realm or even a world gap, they would be firmly suppressed. Compared with the fear and timidity of all the masters in the gathering point, those masters who followed the great elder to the demon continent felt the exaggeration and pride. Before coming to the demon continent. Everyone thought that this was a terrifying place, but they only discovered it when they really came that it was just a few simple demonic fiends. Before they even waited for them to do something, the Great Elder released a little aura, and there were no demonic fiends who dared to come by. This made them suddenly feel that the demon continent was nothing great, others regarded as a fierce land, but they regarded as a smooth road. Moreover, so many people chasing down an early Yuning stage junior with great fanfare, it was really overkill. But thinking about Yang Chen's previous record, or they can't say his record, they could only say the result of the greatest heaven sect sending people out before, it seems that Yang Chen also has an expert guarding him, and six masters of the Yuning stage ancestors have fallen at the same time, plus even Hu Kai and Yahu. The elders were inexplicably involved in the plot, and sending the great elder was a safe plan. From the moment Yang Chen appeared at the gathering point, he was destined to be a dead person. Originally, some people planned to follow the compass all the way to kill him, but the Great Elder did not fully agree. He just divided a few of them into several directions and started tracking, but he took a group of experts and waited in this gathering spot. The Elder seemed to have already been sure that Yang Chen would definitely come here. The waiting time was not very long. It was only more than a year since they arrived at the Demon Continent, and most of it was spent on the road. After arriving at this gathering point, everyone followed the rules at the beginning and didn't make any excessive behaviors until Yang Chen appeared. In this ridiculous place, there were rules that say that no fighting was allowed. Don't they know that the rules were made by people with great strength? Even if there was an expert here to enforce the rules, so what? Isn't it that they were too scared to move? It was ridiculous to attack the rules by breaking the rules. The group of them blatantly broke the rules, but so far, no one has come out to maintain the rules. Now a little guy jumped out, and he was actually the one with the worst cultivation base in this gathering spot. It might be that they have just arrived in the demon continent, and there was no sign of even a bit of killing intent on their body, and their temperament was not strong enough, so the newcomer does not know that the sky was high, and the earth was thick. Several of the greatest heaven sex experts thought in their hearts, with a sneer on their faces, watching Li Cheng jump out like a joke, no one moved. They only needed to make sure that Yang Chen can't escape, and the elder would naturally take care of everything. As for the great elder, he would not have any interest in the little guy who jumped out in hot blood. When he reached his level, his thoughts about fame and fortune, or fighting for power, would have been weakened. The little guy was righteous and knew to maintain the rules, but that's all. The great elder didn't even look at Li Cheng directly, but took firm and firm steps, step by step towards Yang Chen. Yang Chen was his real goal. After taking care of Yang Chen and finishing the affairs for the sect, he could face his tribulation with confidence. I don't care what rules you have here, I only follow my own rules. The voice of the great elder was calm and majestic like a dominator, and everyone who heard it was shocked. I only want one person's life, others, as long as you stay out of my way, otherwise, you will die. In two consecutive sentences, the great elder has clearly stated his attitude and his purpose. His goal was Yang Chen. By breaking the rules, everyone will be punished. Just as Yang Chen wanted to do something, Li Cheng's voice rang again. At this moment, not only the cultivators of the Greatest Heaven sect, but also the cultivators of the Demon Continent who were frightened by the Great Elder, cast a surprised look at him. Li Cheng spoke for the first time, and then the old guy directly released the monstrous coercion, conquering everyone, and no one dared to say anything more. How come now, was he still daring to jump out to talk nonsense, was he bored of life? Stubborn, you two will die together. The voice of the great elder with almost no joy and sorrow sounded again, and a sword light flew from his body, flying high into the sky. At the same time, there was another ray of light that flew from Li Cheng. 
it was the same sword light, but compared to the radiant sword light of the Great Elder, Li Chang's sword light appeared very dim, it could even be said that there was almost no light, just a grey shadow that was almost invisible. Boosh, the sword light of the Great Elder, flew directly towards Yang Chen, and Li Chang's sword light also slashed towards the Great Elder at the same time. Except for Yang Chen and Li Chang, everyone present had a result in their hearts. Yang Chen's head was cut off, and Li Cheng's flying sword was blocked, and then the next sword light would fly, and Li Cheng's head would also be cut off. As the Great Elder was too lazy to deal with several opponents at the same time, especially the two juniors. They must come one by one. He would not worry that the opponent could successfully resist, so he would kill them in order and give no help at all. Everyone was watching the moment when Yang Chen's would head fly up, but they only saw Yang Chen stretch out his hand to grab the sword light. Patching the flying sword with his bare hands was this young man stupid. Not to mention that he was facing a cultivator of this level, even if it was a young man in the early Yuning stage who was in the same realm as him, he would suffer a big loss against his flying sword with bare hands. No matter how good his body refining technique was, it can't stand the battle between the tempered body and the tempered magic weapon. It was clear which one was strong and which was weak. Therefore, in everyone's speculation, before Yang Chen's head would fly off, there was another plot where his palm was cut off, which should be coherent. The peerless master just now has said that he only needs Yang Chen and Li Cheng's heads, and the others would be fine as long as they don't move. People who were suppressed by the elder who dared not to show up were actually relaxed in their hearts, as long as they have nothing to do with them, that would be great. No one has in mind the rule that protected the gathering point cannot be broken. Just as the great elder said, strength was the rule. At this moment, the fist of the great elder was the largest, so his words were the rules. This gathering point adds up to hundreds of people close to a thousand people, and there was also a junior who dared to jump out to maintain the original rules, and he was also a newcomer. From this point of view, all the guys who had gained experience in the demon continent, except Li Cheng, should feel ashamed. It's a pity that being ashamed was not more important than life and death, and no one would jump out to be this person who sacrifices his life for righteousness. As soon as everyone's worries were let go, another thought came out. It was definitely a precious experience to be able to witness the action of a master of the level like the Great Elder. It couldn't be helped, everyone was looking forward to it, expecting the result of their speculation to happen. The sword light had already arrived in front of Yang Chen, Yang Chen's hand was very fast, and he grabbed it. Just as everyone was waiting for the scene of breaking the bloodbone from the palm to appear, the sword light suddenly stopped. After brushing, the situation where the sword light changed from extreme motion to extreme silence made people's eyes feel uncomfortable, but no matter how uncomfortable they were, it couldn't compare with the shock in their hearts. Yang Chen just casually stretched out his hand and grabbed the sword light, and then the flying sword of the peerless master was grabbed by Yang Chen's big hand. Not to mention cutting off the palm, it was estimated that even the hair on Yang Chen's hand has not been cut off. How could this be? A cultivator who was more powerful than all the Daching stage masters on the scene put together made a serious sword attack, and even the fingers of a descendant in the early Yuning stage couldn't be hurt at all. What a big joke. Could it be that the old guy and the young guy come together to make a joke off everyone? Not only the people from the demon continent, but even the people from the greatest heaven sect were all startled. What's going on? How was this possible? How could the great elder let Yang Chen grab his flying sword? In the scene, the most surprised was not the other people, but the Great Elder. From the beginning of his appearance to the present, he has been firmly in control of the initiative, controlling all the atmosphere here, wanting the wind to get the wind, wanting the rain to get rain, waiting for a sword to slay Yang Chen, but suddenly there was a sudden change. As soon as his mind moved, the life source flying sword that was connected with his mind wanted to cut Yang Chen from a different angle. However, this was just a thought, the flying sword in Yang Chen's hand only slightly shook, but the sword body was held by Yang Chen, motionless. The great elder was shocked, the young man in the early Yuning stage in front of him was an expert who hid so deeply. Grasping the life source flying sword of a cultivator of his level with bare hands, even if he was as strong as the elder, surpassing those who have just crossed their tribulation and ascended to him, he dare not dare. Yang Chen stretched out his hand without hesitation and grabbed it. He was surprised to see that a black light flashed in front of him. At this time, the great elder remembered that there was someone who was planning to attack him with a flying sword. Just immersed in the shock of his flying sword being grabbed by Yang Chen's empty hand, he forgot this. If the tiger doesn't show off its might, do you really treat me as a sick cat? Did even the younger generations in the early Yuning stage ride on the old man's neck and shit? From the beginning to the end, the great elder, who was just shocked, was no longer in the state of no joy and no sadness, and was furious. But this mere flying sword, does he want to make a joke of the great elder of the greatest heaven sect? This young man doesn't put the elder in his eyes, right? 
Anger was secretly born, but the Great Elder stood still and did not move. Yang Chen dared to take his flying sword empty-handed, wouldn't he dare to be a peerless master? He just wanted to let other people see that this old man was standing here, no matter how you chop up and down with a flying sword, it can't harm his hair. As a result, another scene that shocked everyone happened again. Such a powerful and peerless master, who just used his aura to presence close to the thousands of masters who dare not come out, the great elder of the greatest heaven sect, stood upright and let Li Cheng, the younger generation's flying sword, cut on his own neck. Then, a grey-haired head, like a hydrangea thrown up by people, rushed into the sky with a blood spring spouting wildly, and after flipping a few times in the air, it clicked and fell not far away. In the place, it rolled a few times and didn't move again. The headless corpse stood on the spot on the flat neck, making bursts of hissing, spurting blood, and staining the surrounding blood red. If you're enjoying the content, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe to Fantasy World for more. Chapter 516. Demonic Kai Cannot Be Abused. There were only two swords in total, the one used by the Great Elder to kill Yang Chen, plus the one used by Li Cheng to kill the Great Elder. The two swords seemed to be very ordinary, the swords were not special, but the results are completely different. The sword that was slashed towards Yang Chen was grabbed by Yang Chen empty-handed, and now the flying sword was still in Yang Chen's hand. The sword that slashed towards the Great Elder was effective in one blow, and the Elder's head was cut off clean and neat. The fact was so unbelievable that it was not until the Great Elder had fallen to the ground and his body had fallen to the ground. How is this possible? The most unbelieving people was that the cultivators of the Greatest Heaven sect, the Great Elder, were so powerful, and they followed his side from the sect to the Demon Continent for more than 10 years, it was clear back then. Not to mention that it was a small Yuning stage ancestor, it was like 10 and 100. But what everyone saw was completely different. A few Greatest Heaven sects cultivators even thought it was a Great Elder joking with everyone, deliberately creating an illusion. But, this illusion was too real, right? It's so real that everyone thinks it's real. That's the great elder who surpassed the strength of everyone, it's impossible to be a joke. On the other side, the guys in the demon continent were shocked. A peerless master who only exuded his aura scared them and didn't dare to move. How could he be so simply killed by a sword, without any resistance? What's wrong with this world? Was the Yuning stage the most powerful realm in the mortal world? Could it be that this expert was just a joke? Was it just that his aura was amazing and he didn't have any fighting strength? This was the most likely situation. Otherwise, for such a strong cultivator, his flying sword could not move when caught by a young man in the early Yuning stage. It would be too fake. Today, someone wanted to kill Grandmaster Yang, which is against the rules. You didn't do anything when someone attacks you against the rules, who else will save you? Li Cheng killed the Great Elder with one strike, but he didn't continue to act on those people from the Greatest Heaven sect, but shouted. Li Cheng's shouting awoke the sluggish people around him. Today, they were embarrassed and lost their dignity. They were bullied and slapped in the face, but so many of them didn't even dare to let out a fart. Only the two young men with the lowest cultivation base in the early Yuning stage have been maintaining the rules, how could they not be embarrassed now? Countless pairs of eyes with shame and venting gazed directly at the greatest heaven sect cultivators who came out with the Great Elder. There were dozens of Daching stage masters here. In addition, hundreds of cultivators who had been in the demon continent for at least 10 years, who at worst were at the early Yuning stage, were to be added. Among the people the greatest heaven sect dispatched this time, except for one great elder, they were just at the peak yuning stage or the late yuning stage. Faced with the hateful eyes of hundreds of cultivators, their mood that had just been energetic no longer existed. At this moment, their mood was absolutely the same as the mood of the people who gathered at the beginning when they were suppressed by the great elder. It's a pity that these guys were feeling shame and anger. When there was a strong desire to vent, there was no such magnanimity like that of the Great Elder who would let them go as long as they didn't get in his way. Someone took the lead and just took a step. All of a sudden, everyone pounced on the nearest Greatest Heaven Sect disciple. More than a dozen Yuning stage masters of the Greatest Heaven Sect were buried by hundreds of angry cultivators in a blink of an eye, there was no trace of them anymore. In the chaos, only two places were completely undisturbed. One was where Yang Chen was standing, and the other was where Li Cheng was standing. The distance between the two was almost two feet, but within a radius of 10 meters, there was no other living person, only one without a head. The corpse was lying on the opposite side several feet away. One caught the Great Elder flying sword with his bare hands, one also beheaded the Great Elder, the hundreds of people present were not fools, acting. Was there such a person who plays with his head? What's more, when that peerless elder first appeared on the stage, there were more than a dozen peak Yuning stage and the late Yuning stage masters who were suppressed by him. Since the peerless master was real, how horrifying was it to behead a master of this level with a single sword? 
How terrifying was a person who grabs that kind of flying sword empty-handed. In the demon continent, in addition to not being afraid of death, you must also have enough eyesight to be able to judge the strength of your opponent, run when you should run, and pretend to be junior when you are a junior. Before the great elder, everyone pretended to be junior, so they obviously had good eyesight. Such peerless experts, if anyone dares to provoke them at will, then they were really looking for death. So they would spread the anger on the guys who came out with that great elder. The flying sword is yours, the Kiankan bag is mine, what do you think? Li Cheng just yelled, not caring about the performance of these people around him, and talked to Yang Chen. The two were not far apart, so they could hear each other clearly. The flying sword naturally refers to the flying sword of the great elder, which was now being held in Yang Chen's hands. Because of the death of the owner, it no longer struggled and was honestly put away by Yang Chen. The Kiankan bag was the Kiankan bag on the corpse of the great elder. Okay. Yang Chen knew that Li Cheng was a little mysterious, but he still didn't expect that he would be so terrifying. A single strike of his sword could behead the Great Elder of the Greatest Heaven sect. Although there were elements of the Great Elder being careless in it, Li Cheng's own strength should not be underestimated. Although Yang Chen could desperately kill this Great Elder if he wanted to do it, he might use a lot of capital and may even destroy many things, exposing countless trump cards for the Greatest Heaven sect to be prepared for in the future. Maybe he had to be injured, he would definitely not wave his hand to cut down the opponent as easily as Li Cheng. In this way, Yang Chen's praise of Li Cheng was not overestimated, but underestimated. Fortunately, it was not too late to know, but he didn't know which sect the mysterious Li Cheng comes from. The Greatest Heaven Sect's Great Elder Life Source Flying Sword was definitely a precious weapon. This kind of thing that would accompany the Great Elder to ascend to the immortal realm and the spiritual world and fight for a lifetime must be made by him at all costs. In terms of value, it would never be lower than the things in the Kiankan bag. Seeing that Li Cheng was refreshed and there was no hostility from him since the beginning, Yang Chen also deliberately relaxed more. After Li Cheng took the Great Elder's Kiankan bag back and put it away, he smiled and invited Brother Li, this brother has some good wines, I would like to invite you to have a few drinks together. I can't ask for anything more. Li Cheng was also a cheerful person, he laughed and agreed directly. When the two walked into a room at the gathering point together, the guys who were at the gathering point with the two people breathed a sigh of relief. It seems that these two evil stars were not particularly angry, but all the guys in this gathering point of the demon continent felt like blushing. They enjoyed the safety of the gathering point for hundreds of years, but when things came to the fore, they didn't know how to maintain the rules of the gathering point. If things go on like this, it would be impossible for them to find a place where they could feel rest assured on the demon continent. It's this kind of shame and anger that made these guys extraordinarily merciless when facing the remaining disciples of the Greatest Heaven sect. It was just a wave of attack, but not one of the dozen Yunying stage masters of the Greatest Heaven sect lived. All the people of the Greatest Heaven sect were killed, but they didn't dare to take any of the Kiankan bags left by the Greatest Heaven sect's disciples at will. In the end, two Daching stage masters took the initiative to ask whether they could collect these Kiankan bags and then respectfully sent them to the outside of the house, where Yang Chen and Li Cheng went for a drink. They killed the people, but they have no face to take credit. The two young people seemed to be drinking, but no one dared to enter with a straight face. The performance of the two juniors was stronger than those of the old guys who had been in the demon continent for so many years. With the two young people in front of them, the people at this gathering spot couldn't lift their heads. The two in the room did not pay attention to what happened outside and did not say much about what just happened. The two were just chatting and drinking. The wine was the jade dragon wine brewed by Yang Chen. Because Sun King Su also likes to drink a little bit, Yang Chen brewed a lot of auxiliary wines to blend the jade dragon wine. Every year, he uses the spirit springs from all over the place to brew, and after so many years, he has saved a lot in possession. In particular, some auxiliary wines have gone down in years, and they have been ready for one or two hundred years. The auxiliary wine alone was considered a good wine, and when it was blended with a jade dragon wine made by the dragon clan that has been preserved in the gourd for thousands of years, once it was taken out, it was fragrant and intoxicating. But wine. Li Cheng was obviously a wine lover, and he knows wine very well. Just smelling the smell he seemed to be able to determine the origin of the wine. This is brewed from grains, and it is at least 170 years old. After smelling it, Li Cheng took a sip, closed his eyes and sipped it for a while, before continuing added with the aging distiller's yeast, there is a sweet flavor to it, it really has a different taste. After taking another sip, he said again this water should be the spiritual spring in the southern part of the Tao sex domain, with a little bit of seventh metal true essence, it has a wonderful taste of good wine. Good wine. Thus these two comments made Yang Chen look at him with admiration. 
Whether it's the vintage material of the brewing or the place where the spirit spring belongs, he knew all these, this was definitely a unique skill. If he was not familiar with the geography of the mountains and rivers of this world to a certain extent, he wouldn't know all that. This auxiliary wine is brewed by my own hands, but the distiller's yeast is obtained from elsewhere. It is rare that Brother Li likes it, so drink more. Yang Chen was naturally happy when someone appreciates the wine he has brewed. Yang Chen's auxiliary wines were also taken out one by one, and Li Cheng was allowed to taste them. The wines blended with different auxiliary wines have different tastes. Whichever one comes out was the best wine in the martial world. Both of them were bold people, and regardless of whether there was a drink or not, they could just drink a cup and talk about some interesting things in the world. If my wife was here, she can fix a good side dish for all the wines. When drinking, Yang Chen did not forget to praise his wife especially for the appetite of this little brother, she has studied in the mortal world for 10 years. In a few months, if brother Li is still here, you will definitely be able to feast with me. Oh? Is there such a thing? When Yang Chen praised his wife so much, Li Cheng's eyes lit up, his face full of anticipation, and he looked like a foodie. In that case, I must wait a few months. Both of them must have inhumane secrets in cultivation, and they seem to be willing to enjoy themselves. They were all cultivators who understand the combination of work and rest, and understand the proper indulgence of their emotional instincts, so they could naturally talk together. Talking and chatting, they naturally talked about this demon continent. Everyone has experienced this demon continent, so naturally there were many topics in common. Yang Chen was not very clear about the existence of these gathering points and the origin of the formation around the entire demon continent, so naturally he had to ask Li Cheng for some advice. However, Li Cheng claimed to have just arrived recently. In fact, the two of them should have entered the demon continent at the same time. It was just that Li Cheng came dozens of days earlier when he was outside, so he don't know much about it. But Li Cheng didn't come to gain a complete experience, he also traveled a lot, saw a lot of things, and knew a little bit more than Yang Chen. It's just that the extras are nothing more than the special abnormality of the demonic Kai. For Yang Chen, it was just a reference, and it doesn't have much effect. On the contrary, Li Cheng was very interested in Yang Chen's current outer robe. With his eyesight, he could naturally see that this was a magic weapon, but it was too bold to refine the magic weapon that absorbs the demonic Kai and wear it on his body, right? Brother Yang still has to be careful of this heart demon attack. Li Cheng said a little earnestly this brother has studied the demonic Kai for many days. Although it can't hurt people in idle time, if the concentration is high, the average cultivator will be entangled for life and cannot get rid of it. Because this heart demon attack is fatal and countless, Brother Yang has to be careful. It's not too difficult to spot the demonic Kai of the Nine Nether Flying Sword at a glance. People in this demon continent deal with demonic Kai almost every day, and anyone could find it. But as Li Cheng said, once the concentration was high, lifelong entanglement was not that simple. Yang Chen was now tempering his mood with the demonic Kai, as the inducement of the demonic Kai and the concentration of the demonic Kai was far from the point of lifelong entanglement. But Li Cheng has already come to this conclusion, one could imagine how deep Li Cheng's research was. Brother Li, I will pay attention. Yang Chen hurriedly thanked him. No matter what, the other party was kind. Don't be too nervous for the time being. This tool spirit is a bit interesting. It is used to temper the state of mind, but it is an excellent thing. Li Cheng kept staring at Yang Chen's robe, as if he could see what he was grateful for, and then said if the spiritual awareness is strong enough, the will is firm, there is no need to worry. It's just that the ordinary cultivator's spiritual awareness cultivation base is not that high, so naturally you will be taken advantage of by the demonic Kai. As long as you always pay attention to this, there is nothing to worry about. This was good news, at least Yang Chen could use it with confidence. If the Nine Nether Flying Sword had to be sealed up after it were refined, Yang Chen would also feel it was a pity. Since Li Cheng said so, he believed Yang Chen would be able to manage it easily. If you're enjoying the content, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe to Fantasy World for more. Chapter 517. Control. Strictly speaking, Li Cheng and Yang Chen could also be regarded as having met by chance. They said a few words to each other when they first entered the demon continent, this was the second time they have met. Moreover, although the two people faced the same enemy this time, the purpose of their attack was different. Yang Chen was fighting against the opponent to defend himself, while Li Cheng was maintaining the rules of gathering spots in the demon continent. Therefore, after drinking, Li Cheng did not stay with Yang Chen all the time, but found a room to cultivate. There were many rooms in this gathering point, which are safe places for people to cultivate, so it was very easy to find a room. Li Cheng didn't even look at the Kiankan bags placed at the door of the room where the two of them drank. He kicked Yang Chen half of it according to the number, and he took the other half unceremoniously. 
Li Cheng cultivated by himself, but Yang Chen was not so focused. Instead, he came out first to see if he could buy some demon orbs in the near future to increase his wealth, while also absorbing some high concentrations of demonic kai. Since Li Cheng said that Yang Chen shouldn't worry, Yang Chen didn't know why, but he believed Li Cheng's words very much. Although the two have not had much contact, they have a silent understanding and trust. Even though Yang Chen was slightly jealous of Li Cheng, there was no doubt about him. To be honest, if Li Cheng really wants to be disadvantageous to Yang Chen in a face-to-face -face battle, Yang Chen has no certainty that he would win. There was even a hunch in his heart that even if he releases his bloody river, it would not be effective. Therefore, he would not doubt that Li Cheng had anything to do with such a small problem that he didn't know when it would happen. Walking in the street, the eyes of those people looking at Yang Chen were a little evasive. The people at the gathering point lost their courage this time, and a group of masters and famous people didn't even have the courage to do it, so this people felt ashamed. Shopkeeper, do you have any demon orbs? Any demon orbs that have not been purified? Both the big and the small ones. The atmosphere was embarrassing, so Yang Chen quickly entered a store, directly explaining his request. You can buy anything, all the items here are 20% off. The shopkeeper was also one of the people who didn't dare to do anything yesterday. He blushed slightly when he saw Yang Chen, and then hurriedly said loudly. Having said this, the shopkeeper took out all the demon orbs in his shop and let Yang Chen choose. No one else has this treatment, they would all mention what grade of demon orbs they want to buy. The shopkeeper would take out one, up to two for customers to choose. Yang Chen was also not polite, the ten largest ones were directly selected. Then he let the shopkeeper settle the accounts. They were all unpurified demon orbs. Seeing that Yang Chen only picked these, the shopkeeper felt a little moved and asked carefully are you a demon orb refiner? Indeed. Yang Chen nodded and admitted, and then directly ordered let's settle the account. This kind of shop can't get many good demon orbs, the best one was in the 6th grade. The worst one was under the 6th grade, with an average of 6th grade. It was already a good harvest, the previous two years, Yang Chi had never harvested a demon orb. Shopkeeper, when will there be an auction recently? After buying a demon orb, he naturally had to ask when there would be an auction. Only the high-level demon orb could be found at the auction. The higher the demon orb, the purer the demonic kai, the more beneficial it was to the nine nether flying sword. You're lucky, there will be one in half a month. The shopkeeper was also a well-informed person, and for the sake of being a little bit uncomfortable with Yang Chen, he also specially told him the latest news. There is a super first-class demon orb refiner, Grandmaster Yang, who may come to this gathering point in two or three months. He is a legend who can completely purify the demonic kai. When the shopkeeper talked about this, his face was full of excitement. Don't you see so many Daching stage masters here, they are all waiting for Grandmaster Yang to arrive. Yang Chen had never thought about how there would be so many Daching stage masters at a gathering point that was a little deeper than the outermost gathering point. Now he finally understands the reason, it turned out to be because of himself. At the last gathering place, Yang Chen said that he would be at this gathering place two years later. It was estimated that those who know it would spread the news, so there are so many people waiting here. That's good, these experts have good demon orbs in their hands, which could fully meet the needs of the Nine Nether Flying Sword. Yang Chen didn't need to look for demonic kai to absorb them, and they could exchange for his services with many materials similar to the Nine Nether Flying Dust. With such good materials, even if there are no good materials, a large sum of spirit stones could still earn more pocket money for the ladies of his own family, which could take care of many things in one fell swoop. With the Nine Nether Flying Sword, the speed of absorbing demonic kai increased greatly. The demon orbs purchased were directly surrounded by the Nine Nether Flying Sword. It didn't even take three days before all the demonic kai was absorbed by the Nine Nether Flying Sword, it's clean, leaving no trace. They were all six grade super first class demon orbs. When Yang Chen was considering whether to sell them on the auction floor, he suddenly discovered that Xiao Yan seemed to have some slight restlessness. In fact, Xiao Yan has been digesting the huge Dragon Ball. Although Yang Chen has used it several times before, in fact, Xiao Yan did not completely absorb the Dragon Kai in the Dragon Ball, but kept it in his body, anytime and anywhere, it's just refining it. Especially when he was fine, he liked to stay in the Dragon Tower to cultivate. In the past few years on the Demon Continent, Yang Chen was afraid that Xiao Yan would also be contaminated by the Demonic Kai and turn into a Demonic Fiend. In addition, for the purpose of gaining experience, he easily refused to use Xiao Yan. Yang Chen now knows from the thoughts passed by Xiao Yan that Xiao Yan has truly absorbed all the Dragon Kai in the Dragon Ball this time. This time, that Dragon Ball directly allowed Xiao Yan to enter the third floor from the second floor of the Dragon Tower, and his strength rose abruptly by a level. The power of Xiao Yan was mainly reflected in the increase in the magic weapon of flying swords. 
The higher the level, the stronger and sharper the flying sword in his mouth. Especially all things could be cut, which was almost a legendary attribute, it was simply an existence that goes against the heavens, and even any illusion array could be directly cut off. The magic weapon in the form of smoke like the nine nether flying sword could also be split into two pieces against the flying sword held by Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan, who had never been tainted with the demonic eye, was even agitated at those demon orbs, making Yang Chen a little curious. Does Xiao Yan want to swallow these demon orbs? Does the demon orbs, which could improve the cultivation of a cultivator, also have an effect on Xiao Yan? He just doesn't know if Xiao Yan swallowed these demon orbs, would there be any obstacle to the growth of Xiao Yan in the future? Together with this idea, Yang Chen did not shy away from letting Xiao Yan know, and it was also passed on to Xiao Yan through the connection between them. Immediately, Xiao Yan gave a response. Delicious, great tonic. Yang Chen thought about chewing the words passed by Xiao Yan and couldn't help smiling bitterly. It seems that he might affect his future cultivation and need to take great efforts to correct the demon orbs, but in the eyes of Xiao Yan, it was just a delicious tonic. Sure enough, the origin of dragon species was different from that of human cultivators. This was also normal, human cultivators must cultivate the true essence technique to absorb the true essence spirit power. However, some powerful monsters could directly absorb the true essence spirit power of their own attributes by instinct. There were many differences, this difference also exists between Xiao Yan and Yang Chen. Since Xiao Yan thought so, Yang Chen didn't worry much. Xiao Yan got the inheritance of the Dragon Tower and even the inheritance of the Dragon Palace, so it knew more of its clan than Yang Chen. It said it was okay, and naturally it was okay. Without even thinking about it, Yang Chen threw a few demon orbs that had been purified to Xiao Yan in the medicine garden, Xiao Yan swallowed them directly in the air. Compared to Xiao Yan's body shape at the moment, a few sixth-grade demon orbs didn't even have the qualifications to squeeze between his teeth. But Yang Chen looked at Xiao Yan, who was holding the demon orb in his mouth like jelly beans, slowly melting, and it looked delicious. That's good, at least the demon orb that had absorbed the demonic Kai in Yang Chen's hand had a place to be consumed. Too much of the superb demon orbs would cause its value to fall sharply, and it would also cause many people to covet it. With the consumption of Xiao Yan, it does not appear to be a waste. While using the nine nether flying sword to refine his heart, Yang Chen waited for the auction to be held. After staying for half a month, the auction finally began. This time when Yang Chen appeared again, someone had already recognized his identity. Everyone was shocked to see that Yang Chen was the Grandmaster Yang they were waiting for, and the masters who gathered in the spot were ashamed again. They didn't even take action when Grandmaster Yang was in trouble. This must have offended Grandmaster Yang miserably, they didn't know if they had a chance to get a superb demon orb. Everyone knows what Grandmaster Yang wants to buy when he appeared at the auction, even the organizer of the auction. So he also deliberately prepared five high-level demon beads. Sure enough, it was better than in the periphery, and even the demon orb was getting bigger and bigger. Yang Chen was very satisfied, and he was bidding with others. Yang Chen had spirit stones in his hand. He was not afraid at all, he was afraid that there would be no demon orbs. Unexpectedly, there were only five demon orbs. After waiting for a few moments, they were all bought by Yang Chen at an unimaginably low price, and no one offered a higher price. From the auction organizer to the master of the demon orbs, it seemed that they were all of the same mind. Even the initial reserve price was set extremely low, and the final transaction price was not even as good as the market price outside. Yang Chen understood the reason for this. Sure enough, the rules of this auction were slightly changed. At least the last time Yang Chen participated, it was delivered on the spot, with the spirit stones in one hand and the demon orbs in the other. But this time it was not until all the demon orbs were auctioned before that one of the auctioneer's chiefs personally took the initiative to invite Yang Chen into a room and offer all the demon orbs. Grandmaster Yang, this is a tribute on my account and a few seniors, I ask Grandmaster Yang to accept it. The auctioneer's attitude was very good, his posture was extremely low, and the respect was outrageous. I don't lack these few spirit stones. Of course Yang Chen understood and did not pretend to accept the demon orbs and then brought a sufficient number of spirit stones. The owner of the auction house had intended to refuse, but after watching Yang Chen's face, he carefully accepted it. Thank you for giving me face, these demon orbs, after they are purified, I will ask you to auction them. Yang Chen first gave the auction house a guarantee, which immediately made the chief of the auction house laugh. I appreciate you for giving me face, thank you for the next one. For the benefit of the auction house, naturally also the benefit of the people who provided the demon orbs, so Yang Chen directly gave a promise thank you for me, if these predecessors still have demon orbs in their hands that need to be purified, they will be picked up by the same rule, but there are a large number of them. So each person is limited to one. 
including the auction house, the people who provided the demon orbs, and the experts who participated in the auction who did not bid to compete, were all waiting for Yang Chen. The owner of the auction house was overjoyed, flattered and sent it up without money, he didn't care that he was Datching's stage master. I may stay here for two years this time, so don't worry about it. There were many masters who provide demon orbs, and Yang Chen needs a steady stream of demonic kai, so he could take the opportunity to fix it. Of course, besides Yang Chen, there were the four wives of Yang Chen. In the three years before, there were only ten short days of meeting, and Yang Chen really missed them. What's more, with the nine nether flying sword, Yang Chen could also let the four ladies hone their moods so that everyone could get together for some time. Yang Chen quickly returned to his room with the demon orbs. The anxious masters who had been waiting for a while looked at the owner who sent Yang Chen back to the room and rushed back to the auction room with anxious expectation. Grandmaster Yang said that he will stay here for two years. If you have a demon orb in your hand, you can also go to him for purification, but each person is only limited to one. The auction house owner naturally knows what everyone saw waiting for, so he announced it as soon as he came back. Hearing that Yang Chen promised to purify the demon orbs, the masters of the Yuaning and Daqing Tage cheered. What was everyone gathering here waiting eagerly, isn't it just waiting for Grandmaster Yang to take action? When the Great Elder wanted to kill Grandmaster Yang, none of them dared to speak up. When they discovered that the person who was almost killed that day turned out to be Grandmaster Yang who they were waiting for, it wasn't known how many people stomped their feet in regret. If they had the courage to say a word for Grandmaster Yang at that time, they wouldn't have to be so careful now, right? Fortunately, Grandmaster Yang finally accepted everyone's kindness, he accepted the five low-priced demon orbs and promised to help everyone refine the demon orbs. Finally, everyone's heart was relieved when it reached their throats. Many people have already begun to yearn about how their cultivation base would improve after taking down the advanced demon orb in their hands. It was completely different from the ecstatic mood of the crowd in the demon continent's gathering place on the greatest heaven sex side, it was almost like a gloomy cloud was falling from the sky. If you're enjoying the content, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe to Fantasy World for more. Chapter 518. Demonic Kai Cultivation. In the Life Tablets Hall of the Greatest Heaven Sect, dozens of life source jade plaques exploded continuously. Such a violent movement directly shocked the disciples who guarded the hall. After standing there for a while, they remembered to hold these broken pieces and hurriedly reported to the hallmaster. More than a dozen Yuning stage masters fell within a few breaths, which was definitely a major event. Sect Master Li was also shocked after learning about it and hurriedly called the core elders to discuss. These are all people who went to the demon continent with the great elder. After the sect master Li explained the situation, he added another sentence. Others don't know what these people were doing, but the core elders here know it. What about the great elder himself? Another elder asked. As soon as he uttered his voice, he knew that he had asked a silly question and fell silent immediately. To become a great elder, in addition to cultivating to a certain level, he had to take back his life source jade tablet and all the primordial spirits are sealed in that array, otherwise, the tribulation would come immediately. This was also the reason why the sect didn't know whether the great elder had an accident and didn't know if he had ascended through the tribulation or had died. When the elder asked this, he was obviously a little anxious and he had forgotten the situation. In what kind of situation could more than a dozen peak Yuning stage masters and the late Yuning stage masters die within a few breaths one after another? It was very possible to say that they met the great elder from another sect of another family, but the question was, what big sect was willing to send the great eater to the demon continent? These people went to chase and kill Yang Chen. Whether they succeeded or not, no one knows, everyone only knows that now more than a dozen masters at the peak and late Yuning stage have died. They didn't know whether the Great Elder was alive or dead, and all his followers had fallen. This situation makes people anxiously mad, but the demon continent was so far away, even if someone was sent to inquire about the news, it would take more than 20 years to go back and forth. Only then would they know what had happened. Anyway, the loss of more than a dozen masters at the peak Yuning stage and the late Yuning stage was also a big blow to the Greatest Heaven sect. Even if the Greatest Heaven sect has a big population, it was impossible to casually use Yuning stage master as consumable cannon fodder. There was another thing that also annoys these core elders. Li Lihing brought back a message of the Free Heart Demon Sutra that was a solution to Li Lihing's very problem given by the predecessor Liu Fengzi. It was not Liu Fengzi who was willing, but Li Lihing begged him to get it, everyone has read the Free Heart Devil Sutra. The text was relatively old, but it could still be translated. As far as they are people with cultivation bases. It was too simple to understand the meaning of the Sutra. The Free Heart Devil Sutra was originally the trophies obtained by the predecessors of the Greatest Heaven sect many years ago, when they killed the demons and defended the Tao.
but they have been stored in the sex scripture pavilion and was gradually forgotten. Now it has been turned over again, and after the senior officials have read it, the unified conclusion was that this was not the Tao cultivation method at all, but that of the demons. This was a demonic spiritual awareness cultivation method that allows cultivators to improve their own cultivation by harming others. It was different from the double spiritual awareness cultivation method. The people of double cultivation would improve together, even if it was similar to sect master Li, who treats people as a furnace, it would not be completely exhausted, but there was a sequence and priority. People who are regarded as cauldrons would not die first, and secondly, they would only lose some cultivation time. Even so, some stubborn sects regard the use of people as a cauldron as a crooked way. But if these were to be compared with the Free Heart Devil Sutra, it was basically normal to the bones. Free Heart Devil Sutra was basically to eat people. Cannibalism may be a bit exaggerated, but it definitely depends on the life of the cauldron to improve one's cultivation level, and the cauldron would die very miserably. Because what Li Lehing wanted to promote was his spiritual awareness, people who were cauldrons would be abruptly pulled out of their bodies when their spiritual awareness activities are the most intense. Originally, the most intense activity of this kind was usually the most painful time, which was coupled with the tragic withdrawal of the consciousness at the end. The final outcome was to die in infinite pain. And the price in exchange for this was only an increase of less than 10% of the spiritual awareness cultivation base for those who practice the Free Heart Devil Sutra. Moreover, the prerequisite was that the spiritual awareness of the cauldron was higher than that of the person who practices the Free Heart Devil Sutra, and in addition, it must be of the opposite sex. If Li Lihing really wants to cultivate this cultivation method, then according to estimates, Li Lihing would need at least hundreds of furnaces to completely get rid of the dependence of the spirit congealing pills. In the past, the Free Heart Devil Sutra was brought by a certain predecessor of the Greatest Heaven sect to exterminate the demon and defend the Tao. Could the younger generations of the Greatest Heaven sect in turn also cultivate this kind of evil cultivation method? Everyone was arguing, and in the end they didn't come to a conclusion. It was unbelievable to let the young sect master of the Greatest Heaven sect, traditionally the leaders of the Tao sects, practice this demonic method. In the end, everyone just put it aside. Anyway, there are still a lot of spirit congealing pills now, even if consumed, it would be enough for Li Lihing to consume for many years, maybe before the spirit congealing pills were exhausted, there was no need to consider this issue. Of course, Li Lihing was not happy with such a result. If he was an honest person who was committed to relying on his own hard work, he would never ask Liu Fengzi on how to improve his cultivation. However, Li Lihing could not overthrow the decision of the core elders, so he could only suppress his dissatisfaction and accept the arrangement of the sect. The young master's unhappiness was naturally seen in Yang Lan's eyes. Under her gentle offensive, Li Lihing was intoxicated and casually vented his dissatisfaction. Therefore, the news of the Free Heart Devil Sutra reached Yang's eyes ears through Yang Lan. Yang's eye was now a contemptuous cowardice to Li Lihing, without Li Lihing, he would have been sentenced to death long ago. Because following Li Lihing, Yang's eye could almost get the wind if he wanted the wind and the rain to get the rain, and no one in the sect would easily offend him. Now that his master had Free Heart Devil Sutra, he remembered this name. When he has the opportunity to enter the scripture pavilion in the future, he would definitely look for this cultivation method carefully and bring it out to Li Lihing. Yang's eye fully believes that as long as he was fond of Li Lihing, when Li Lihing becomes the sect master of the greatest heaven sect one day, that would be the time for Yang's eye to show his ambitions. At that time, let alone the fifth great alchemist and even the entire pure Yang palace, Yang's eye would wipe them out and relieve the hatred. Yang Chen doesn't care about what happened in the greatest heaven sect, they have already lost another great elder. It was estimated that the greatest heaven sect would feel distressed to death. Now in this gathering place, Yang Chen and Li Cheng were definitely the two most unprovoked people, but relatively speaking, Yang Chen was more popular. Since agreeing to purify the demon orbs for others, Yang Chen's residence has been like a market. For this reason, Yang Chen had to add another rule, only one person could be received every day. Yang Chen also changed the reward for purifying the demon orbs to give priority to fire seeds. Of course, it was the fire seeds that Yang Chen didn't have yet. On the demon continent, Tao cultivators, demonic cultivators and monsters were mixed, there were many kinds of fire seeds that the Tao sect does not have, which was enough to supplement Yang Chen's yin yang heaven burning fire. In just 10 days, Yang Chen received dozens of fire seeds, there were high grade and low grade ones. This made Yang Chen very satisfied, and immediately he announced to the public that he would accept fire seeds without restrictions, which immediately made some masters with fire seeds in their hands happy. But the fire seeds, they would have the opportunity to let Grandmaster Yang purify their demon orbs to improve their cultivation. The demonic eye absorbed by the nine nether flying sword these days has skyrocketed. 
The demonic Kai itself has been condensed by the demonic fiends, the concentration of demonic Kai was extremely high. In just 10 days, although it has not recovered to the original demonic demon vine level, it was also comparable to some ordinary demon orbs. Xiaot Yan also gradually adapted to some of the aura here because of the small demonic orbs used as jelly beans every day, this change made Yang Chen very happy. If Xiaot Yan could endure the demonic Kai attack, then the Nine Nether Flying Sword would be able to play a more powerful role. This process was just the beginning. Yang Chen still doesn't know whether Xiao Yan, as a dragon species, could withstand a higher concentration of demonic Kai, he needs to experiment carefully. Otherwise, if there was a problem with Xiao Yan, Yang Chen doesn't know where to cry. After waiting for dozens of days at the gathering point, Yang Chen finally met his wife. But this time, Gao Yu, who was the last in the row last time, was now ranked first. After two years of not seeing each other, Yang Chen was excited to see his wife. From the day Gao Yu appeared, the people at the gathering point consciously didn't bother Yang Chen again. There seemed to be endless words between the two of them, and for several days, Yang Chen couldn't bear to part with Gao Yu. This time, Yang Chen asked Gao Yu to stay and wait for the four women to gather. Of course Gao Yu was obedient, and when she learned from Yang Chen that the Great Elder of the Greatest Heaven Sect had appeared, she almost became nervous. But then she learned that the Great Elder was actually killed by Li Chenji, which made her even more surprised. Yang Chen was already quite terrifying, but she didn't expect that Li Cheng would be even worse. The four women gathered, everyone was even more happy. Yang Chen explained to the four women what they meant to do together this time. After another two years of gaining experience, the murderous intent on the four women has begun to gradually fade, and the situation that was uncontrollable by accidentally venting when they met two years ago would no longer be the case. Although not enough, it could only be partially controlled, or it can't completely fade away, they needed a longer time of experience to be able to master it. The Nine Nether Flying Sword at this level was just a precious material that could allow the four women to temper their mood. Maybe it would cause serious heart demons and lead to unpredictable consequences. For this approach proposed by Yang Chen, the four women were very surprised. Whoever came to the demon continent would carefully avoid the demonic Kai, for fear of the demonic Kai's invasion, Yang Chen actually did the opposite, using the demonic Kai to temper his mood. This husband in their own family was really different. Li Cheng said that the most important thing to prevent heart demons was to have a strong spiritual awareness and a strong will. These two conditions are all accounted for by the four women. Although they were all in the early unying stage, their spiritual awareness had already reached the Daching stage, and they were not far from the human immortal realm, which was enough to withstand this degree of demonic Kai. What's more, there was Yang Chen beside them, and he could immediately stop the Nine Nether Flying Sword when he found that something was wrong, which was an extra layer of insurance. Under such circumstances, triggering various mood swings was indeed the most appropriate way to get used to the heart demons. Taking risks was a bit weird, but what kind of cultivation was not taking risks? Coming to the demon continent was a risk in itself. Of course, the four women would not refuse Yang Chen's arrangement. At the beginning, Yang Chen's demonic Kai was slight, and the naughty son King Su believed that the Tao cultivators had a firm mind and firm will. She underestimated it a little and didn't take it seriously. As a result, surrounded by the Nine Nether Flying Sword, an abnormality immediately appeared. It wasn't known what sorrow was caused by Sun Kingsu's heart demon, Sun Kingsu lay in Yang Chen's arms and wept bitterly all day and night before she calmed down. This was still the case when Yang Chen controlled the influence of the demonic Kai from the beginning and stopped immediately when the situation was bad. After this incident, the women no longer dared to underestimate it and they all took it seriously. With some warnings explained by Yang Chen, coupled with their own willpower, they began to frantically resist the attack of demonic Kai in all directions. Yang Chen didn't tell them that their emotions need to be erupted to guide them at first, but just tried to maintain their safety. Some experiences were not something that you could tell them to make them pay the most attention, after all, it was only after suffering a loss that they were deeply impressed. How do you know the taste of some things without experiencing them once, and how to know how to deal with them? Moreover, people are different, Yang Chen's method was not omnipotent and suitable for everyone. The four girls were all talented, and he believes they could find the most suitable way to deal with them on their own. Compared to fighting outside, this experience of dealing with inner demons was even harder. In any case, fighting as long as you find the opponent's weakness and then attack it yourself, but now it is the other way around, the inner demon has found their own weakness and keeps attacking. Even if there was no danger to their life for the time being, it was no less dangerous than killing demonic fiends outside. The four women slowly adapted and began to find suitable ways to resist. And Yang Chen also began to slowly increase the demonic Kai attack, the demonic Kai the four women dealt with became more and more intense. 
Yang Chen himself, while protecting the four girls, while receiving the business of purifying the demon orbs from the outside, while absorbing the fire seeds, he also merged the fourth grade fire seeds into the yin yang heaven burning fire. Cultivation was something that needs to be carried out at all times. Even Xiao Yan, under the condition that he could taste a small demon orb every day, gradually became more adaptable to the demonic Kai. So far, Yang Chen has not found any signs of being attacked and demonized by the demonic Kai. This also means that the great yin yang five elements flying swords that would be controlled by Xiao Yan wouldn't lack the nine nether flying sword. Time flew quickly and two years passed by. The madness caused by the demon orbs continued, but Yang Chen's family of five had already planned to go deeper into the demon continent. If you're enjoying the content, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe to Fantasy World for more. Chapter 519. Venting and Killing. Yang Chen was planning to go deeper into the demon continent, but in the depths of the demon continent, a group of people have just received the news that someone from the outside could completely purify demon orbs. These people were in a huge valley. In the valley, almost the same as the gathering point, there were all kinds of buildings and at least a thousand people gathered in the valley. In the valley, the intensity of the demonic eye was beyond people's imagination. The black demonic eye was like the essence, covering the entire valley. Here, there was no way to see any scenery with the naked eye. If you want to be active here, it was simply impossible without a strong spiritual awareness. If anyone came to see this valley, they would be shocked and open their mouths from ear to ear. The worst of all the people in this huge valley was also an early Datching Stage Master, they were all Datching Stage Masters, any sect that they were placed in would be a deterrent force that makes people extremely frightened. Fortunately for many sects, the people here were not from the same sect. No sect could easily come up with thousands of Datching Stage Masters, even the Greatest Heaven Sect, the top sect of the Tao Domain. Of course, if one were to count the Ascended Cultivators of the Greatest Heaven Sect, it was far more than this amount. All the cultivators had all black robes, covered in black gauze, and even talked less to each other, but everyone had one thing in common. Everyone was from a demon sect, and all of their cultivation methods were of the demonic Kai. With so many of such people together, it gives people a feeling of falling into a devil's cave. The news was also brought by a master of the Daching stage, if Yang Chen was present, he could definitely find that this guy was one of the cultivators at the gathering point at the time. Except for what happened in the gathering point, the cultivator who brought the news over explained everything very clearly, except for the troubles that the Great Elder from the Greatest Heaven sect had stirred up. As for the matter of the Great Elder, it really made them lose face, and secondly, it was not known what thoughts were in his heart, so he didn't disclose it. The news spread quickly. At first, many people didn't believe it, but when the cultivator who came back revealed the pure golden demon orb that had been purified by Yang Chen, everyone became frantic. These guys who cultivated in the places with the strongest demonic eye were not the people of the Tao sect, they were all demon cultivators. Tao cultivation and demonic cultivation were just two ways to cultivate, reaching the same goal in different ways. There was no complete distinction between right and wrong. Especially at this stage of the Daching realm, it is about the firmness of the Tao heart, maybe it's the people in the demon sect that might be even better. If the cultivators of the demon path could cultivate to the realm of the Daching stage, it was not known how many terrifying inner demons would have been overcome. It could almost be said that all kinds of inner demons came here along the way. Every time they struggled on the line of death, the state of mind of such a tempered cultivator could be described as an iron Tao heart, which was not an exaggeration at all. In this regard, the Tao cultivators lay a solid foundation and then follow a step-by-step -step process of cultivation, so they would never face so many inner demons. Therefore, if it was only from the perspective of dealing with inner demons, the Tao sex masters of the Daching stage were probably not as good as the demon sect cultivators of the same cultivation base. Being able to overcome these horrible inner demons to achieve the Daching stage has fully explained the toughness of these cultivators. This was also the reason why there are a lot of demon cultivators in the place where the demonic Kai was strongest. From the perspective of cultivation alone, demonic Kai could evolve some ordinary monsters into powerful demonic fiends, which naturally promotes cultivation. The reason why these demon sect cultivators gathered here was also based on the use of demonic Kai to cultivate. Cultivation in the demon continent was far more than just hunting and killing demonic fiends. It's just that people who haven't reached the depths of the demon continent can't experience it at all. It was self-evident what a refiner who could completely purify the demonic Kai means to these cultivators of the demon sect. Although everyone seemed calm on the surface, there was a surge in their hearts. Outsiders don't know what they were doing in this valley, and people here would never reveal it lightly. However, looking at everyone's cautious appearance, it seems that something extraordinary and important was happening here, which was very confusing. Yang Chen didn't know what was happening here. 
he was now planning to leave the gathering point again and carry out killings to gain experience again. The four girls have been tempered by the nine nether flying swords heart demon for two years and it wasn't known how many times they have experienced the growth of the heart demon. In the first few days, it was a great explosion of emotions. Fortunately, Yang Chen had been taking care of them all the time, so there was no accident. In just two short years, the four girls never thought that they would have such a rich imagination and emotions that they would be able to remember clearly the little things that have been forgotten in the back of their minds many years ago and also cause all kinds of incredible emotional outbursts because of such small things. People who haven't experienced that kind of taste are simply unimaginable, like an orthodox disciple of the Tao sect, just like a disciple of a demon sect. It has to be said that the effect of this training was very significant. In just a short period of two years, or even the time that could be spent in a seclusion, they seem to have experienced thousands of years. They dare not say how determined their mind was, but any inner demon that ordinary Tao sect disciples could meet has no meaning to them. However, not everyone has the experience of thousands of years of suffering in previous lives like Yang Chen's, even if they were as good as the four women, they are showing more and more exhausted posture in this kind of heart demon tempering. Because of exhaustion, it triggered a series of negative effects. Although it has only been two years, it seems that a long time has passed, and even the four girls were feeling a little irritable. Just before coming back, their killing intent could be reduced, and the explosion of various emotions caused those killing intents to appear again. Under this situation, it was no longer realistic to cultivate with the inner demons again, it would make the four girls more and more fall into the more powerful inner demons. The most suitable thing for the four women now was to let the four women vent. Apart from the frantic demands every time they were with Yang Chen, the more effective method was to kill. In the demon continent, the only thing that was not lacking was killing. Outside the gathering point, there were thousands of demonic fiends, they could just kill them without any guilt. The four women's killing intent, which had been suppressed for a long time, was finally released again, hurriedly bid farewell to Yang Chen, and after arranging the time and place for the next meeting, they couldn't wait to throw themselves into the killing field outside. There has never been a moment when the killing intent in the hearts of the four women have been so urgent, but there was no hatred at all, they are completely spontaneously wanting to vent their inner emotions with killing. In fact, even Yang Chen himself, after such a long period of demonic eye eruption, was a bit tired. Emotions don't mean that they can't be produced with a high level of cultivation, but they have it all the time, anytime, anywhere. Anyone, anytime, any place, would maintain at least one emotion. Whether it's happiness, anger, sadness or peace, there was always one kind. This kind of shadowy and elusive thing may not be noticed when you cultivate, but once it was detonated by the heart devil and magnified thousands of times, it meant a terrible disaster for the cultivators. A little bit of resentment in the heart, after being magnified by the demonic eye, will turn into tooth-grabbing hatred and unshakable hatred. It was by no means easy to maintain one's state of mind at this level. Not to mention this kind of negative emotions, even happy things like happiness could become extremely dangerous after being magnified millions of times. When people are in such excitement, they would definitely do some unthinkable things. As for being calm when Mount Tai collapses in front of you without changing color, isn't calmness also a kind of emotional state? When peacefulness and calmness has been magnified countless times, there would be no more thoughts in the heart. What was the difference between it and a stone? For the stone, what was the point of cultivating or not cultivating? Perhaps this was the most dangerous state. The concentration of demonic eye that Yang Chen used to gain experience was dozens of times that of the four women. For the power of the nine nether flying sword, the four women together could bear up to 10%, and Yang Chen alone faces the remaining 90%. Fortunately, Yang Chen's previous life experience and the state of mind of a great Luo Golden Immortal also helped a lot. Even suppressing his own emotional resistance, coupled with safeguarding the safety of the four women, he still survived this period. In addition to the cruel exercise, Yang Chen's only gain was that he gained more knowledge about his nine nether flying sword. As a weapon against emotions, it seems that it had no other defensive method besides hard resistance. In the past two years, Li Cheng has also been in seclusion at the gathering point, leaving the place once in a few months, it wasn't known what he was cultivating. But no one in the entire gathering place dared to be contemptuous. Every time Li Cheng came out, they were always looking at him with fear. Every time Li Cheng left seclusion, he would find Yang Chen for a drink. And the few days of drinking could be regarded as the days when Yang Chen and the four women had a rest. Every time Li Cheng returned home happily, every time he looked at Yang Chen, his gaze seemed to change a little, as if he was surprised. There was also comfort and even a touch of joy, there are so many different emotions. The four women were sent away just in time for Li Cheng to leave seclusion again, the two naturally had a drink again. When Yang Chen and Li Cheng were drinking, the entire gathering spot was silent, without any noise. 
even the birds that wanted to fly over the gathering spot were killed by a group of cultivators distributed in all directions. All the people in the gathering sport were trembling for fear that something would interfere with the two people's drinking. Back then, Yang Chen grabbed the flying sword empty-handed, and the scene of Li Cheng beheading the great elder with a sword was still vivid, if it weren't for Yang Chen being Grandmaster Yang, some of them would have run out from here. After drinking to the fullest, Yang Chen also expressed their intention to leave. Li Cheng nodded, he didn't ask much, just clasped my fists and said indifferently. If this is the case, there will be a period later when we meet. There will be a period later. Yang Chen also clasped his fists in response, then got up and left the gathering spot in strides. There seemed to be Li Cheng's thoughtful gaze following him all the time. After bidding farewell to Li Cheng, Yang Chen stepped out of the gathering spot in the eyes of the cultivators at the gathering spot. Breathing the familiar demonic eye, the nine nether flying sword appeared directly on his body, turning into a large cloud of black mist, disappearing into the jungle as if slowly and quickly. As soon as Yang Chen left, everyone at the gathering point, except for those who were doing business at the gathering point, no longer wanted to stay here. In less than half a day, everyone left cleanly. A guy who could behead a great elder with a single sword strike was fine and wandering here, if they were not attracted by the demon orbs, who would keep enjoying this frightening feeling. Yang Chen, who entered the jungle, also randomly found a direction to go deep into the demon continent, and after flying for hundreds of miles, he first swept away the demonic fiends that appeared beside him, regardless of the kind of exhaustion in his heart. It was undeniable that killing without burden was really a good way to relieve stress, even if it was determined to be like Yang Chen, he felt a little relaxed at this time. The next meeting time agreed with the four girls was five years later. This period of time was enough for Yang Chen to calm down and continue cultivating. Yang Chen proceeded toward the depths of the mainland without rushing, and all the demonic fiends he encountered along the way were all beheaded. Even if the nine nether flying sword encounters a demonic fiend, it could still work. Now the demonic eye condensed on the nine nether flying sword was far stronger than the demonic fiends encountered here. When the instinct of the demonic fiends was further amplified, it was originally just a demonic fiend that could withstand the invasion of demonic Kai beast was naturally more demonized. Under the influence of the nine nether flying sword, these demonic fiends even had hallucinations and began to go crazy. It was easily beheaded by Yang Chen with a sword, and then hours absorbed the demonic Kai. The effect of the tempering of the heart demon was extremely clear in Yang Chen, even if the demonic fiends were allowed to pounce on him, the demonic Kai carried by the monsters could no longer have any effect on Yang Chen itself. But the addition of the golden bell and the yellow turban warrior body refining technique, even if Yang Chen stood in place and allowed the demonic fiends to attack, he would still be unscathed. Unless other people are already familiar with the attacks of demonic Kai, once they are injured by the demonic fiends, they would inevitably be attacked by the demon Kai. In addition to healing the wounds, they have to devote their energy to fight the demonic fiends. But such a situation was meaningless to Yang Chen, and he could completely omit this step. To be more realistic, even if the heavenly tribulation was coming now, Yang Chen didn't have to worry about the inner demons at least during the first few rounds of the heavenly tribulation. Unless it was breaking the heart demon oath, otherwise, there was no need to worry about the heart demon at all. However, Yang Chen did not forget the original intent of the experience. After a month or two of slaughtering like this, Yang Chen stopped and switched to the blood demon vine flying sword only at the last blow. Attack with the nine nether flying sword to absorb the demonic Kai of the demonic fiends. It's a pity that the immortal beheading blade has not been fully tempered, otherwise it would have such an effect directly by installing the great yin yang, five elements flying sword. If you're enjoying the content, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe to Fantasy World for more. Chapter 520. Invitation. After tempering the emotions, endless killings follow. The demon continent was a huge sharpening stone, sharpening all the sober people on the road into an unparalleled sharp sword. For Yang Chen, the demon continent was the biggest unknown after his rebirth. He doesn't know what else will be inside and what weird things will appear. What he needed to do now was to grow in the killing according to his usual experience. At this moment, the demonic fiends that Yang Chen was facing were basically those at the peak and late Yuning stage. Compared with the monsters on the periphery of the mainland, they were much stronger. Even the demonic fiends of the same realm, the ones here were more powerful than the ones before. The most important thing was that for some unknown reasons, the monsters here were naturally grouped and fierce. Under the circumstances of Yang Chen's deliberate attacks, he had to pay a high price to be able to cope. Yang Chen did not use the golden bell and deliberately converge the yellow turban warrior body refining technique to only act on the bones. This could ensure that Yang Chen would not suffer fatal damage but would not be unharmed at all. It was impossible not to be injured at all. Yang Chen knows very well that it was definitely better to be injured than not to be injured during the training. 
for this reason, Yang Chen has to study how to be injured if he was slightly injured, or even how to use non-fatal serious injuries in exchange for certain opportunities. No matter who you are, there was no guarantee that you would not run into someone stronger than yourself, and it was impossible that you would never be hurt in your life. Once encountered at such a critical time, how to react after being injured, how to counterattack, these experiences are the capital of life saving in the future. Yang Chen was not only so cruel to himself, even the same requirements were applied to his own wives. Even for his four wives, all of them were beautiful, but compared with the future, these small injuries could be completely ignored. Moreover, with Yang Chen, no matter how serious the injury was, there would be no problem, and it was guaranteed that no scars would be left. No one deliberately drove the demonic fiends to besiege Yang Chen this time, but going deeper would have posed such a dangerous danger. Yang Chen was also under more and more severe siege as he marched along the way. Whether it was Yang Chen or the four girls, everyone has the ability to single-handedly challenge the Daching stage demonic fiends, but Yang Chen was cautious and would never allow everyone to go too deep. This was a place he couldn't grasp. Yang Chen knew what kind of cultivation base was suitable for what kind of place to be experienced. Topping melons and vegetables along the way for almost a whole year, Yang Chen finally found a demon orb. However, these demonic fiends of the Yuning stage could condense at most six grade demon orbs, and the one in Yang Chen's hand was even smaller, only in the seventh grade. The jelly beans that Xiao Yan was enjoying now, if he just took out one, and it was more than twice as big as this one. Anyway, it's finally a bit rewarding. Although Yang Chen wanted the demon orbs, he just had to move his mouth. Countless people would offer it with both hands, but where could he find it with his own hands and feel a sense of accomplishment? Yang Chen took this demon orb and helplessly shrugged his shoulders. This was a situation he couldn't control. Moreover, that kind of good luck that goes against the heavens in the Tao Sect domain also disappeared completely, killing for four years, only to get three demon orbs. But thinking about the head-sized demon orb in his cosmos bag, Yang Chen couldn't help feeling pity for the guys who worked so hard here. Just a few days after he arrived, he got a heaven-defying demon orb at the outermost periphery. Those people stayed for hundreds of years, but they could only use the third-grade demon orb as treasures. The difference between people was really true and can't be compared. If someone knows that Yang Chen got a human head-sized demon orb and still sighs that his bad luck was here, there would definitely be countless people chasing him to death with flying swords. They have never seen such a cheap and good seller. The guy, was he tolerable or unbearable? Yang Chen looked at the demon orb in his hand carefully for a long time and then played with it in his hand, then calmly said in a certain direction after so long, just say what you want. The haha, Grandmaster Yang is really extraordinary. Before the person arrived, there was a burst of laughter. Soon, a figure appeared in front of Yang Chen I am not here to boast, but to try my hiding skills in front of you that even demonic fiends can't see through, I am very curious about how Grandmaster Yang discovered me. The visitor was a long jade man, very handsome, dressed in various dark green and light green robes, he looked like a large piece of fine jungle. Not to mention anything else, just this robe could make him hide his figure in the jungle, and ordinary people's eyesight was almost impossible to detect him. You have a strong demonic kai, much stronger than those around you. Looking at the strange attire of the other party, Yang Chen didn't take it seriously, just faintly mentioned it, which was regarded as an answer to the other party. Actually, Yang Chen had long discovered that someone was tracking him. The threat of spiritual awareness from the Three Purities secret art was spread around like a spiderweb, anything that it touched would be known to Yang Chen. That said, he just gave the other party an acceptable explanation. That's it. The man in the strange robe suddenly understood. Following Yang Chen's prompt, he began to uncover the secret about how Yang Chen discovered him. Yang Chen was a very powerful demon orb refiner, able to completely purify the demonic kai of the demon orbs, and naturally has a deep understanding of the demonic kai. Finding where the demonic kai was strong, and there are no monsters or human shadows, it could naturally be judged that someone was hiding there. Grandmaster is really amazing, I admire you. The man in the strange row gave Yang Chen a bow and said very sincerely for people able to find traces of me when hiding, Grandmaster, you are the third one, I admire you. After saying this, the man in the strange robe waited for Yang Chen to speak. Everyone would be curious once they hear that they were the third one, they will definitely ask who the first two are. In this way, the two sides would have further topic discussions, and their relationship would be closer because of this. This man in the strange robe was almost hopeful, but this time, he encountered a dull gourd. After Yang Chen heard him say this, he just gave an understatement and said nothing more. Neither did he ask who the top two were, nor his identity and the purpose of being here. The atmosphere froze for a while. The man in the strange robe stood for a while, seeing that Yang Chen had no intention of opening his mouth, his face was a bit stunned. 
however, since he was here, he must make his purpose clear, so he could only speak up first. Grandmaster doesn't want to know why I am looking for you. The look on the face of the man in the strange robe did not change, but there was a little embarrassment in his eyes, so he asked Yang Chen. In his heart, he said, Yang Chen should always ask, right? No. Yang Chen's answer directly blocked the strange robe man's next words in his throat, which was extremely uncomfortable. How could this be? The man in the strange robe really couldn't see through Yang Chen, didn't Yang Chen have any curiosity? When ordinary cultivators encounter this kind of thing, even if they don't do it after they know it, they should at least try to understand it. Why doesn't he even have any curiosity? Little did he know how much Yang Chen suffered because of curiosity during the tempering of the heart demon, so why would he easily ask about it? But Yang Chen also knew that since the other party came to him, there must be something. No matter what he said, the other party would still tell the matter in the end, so why bother asking? In fact, when I came down to find the Grandmaster, I wanted to ask for something. Seeing that Yang Chen was like this, the man in the strange robe couldn't help but resist the embarrassment and continued to speak as if talking to himself. He also knew that Yang Chen would definitely not be able to communicate, so he continued directly Grandmaster can completely purify the demonic Kai on the demon orb. I want to do a deep research on the demon Kai, but I am not talented. I would like to ask the Grandmaster to help, please refer to it for more details, and after the matter is completed, there would be many rewards. What if I am not interested? Yang Chen finally picked up the topic of the man in the strange robe. This made the man in the strange robe finally breathe out, as long as he opened his mouth to answer the conversation, the rest of the matter would be easier to handle. It's important, and it's not something anyone can handle. Therefore, if the Grandmaster is really unwilling to cooperate, I can only offend you. The man in the strange robe still maintained that kind attitude, but the words from him were full of threat. Yang Chen was only in the early Yuning stage, but the man in the strange robe was already in the mid datching stage. The cultivation level between the two was more than a big difference. No matter from which point of view, the man in the strange robe seems to be settled. If it wasn't for needing Yang Chen's help, maybe he would have started attacking him a long time ago. Offend me? Yang Chen suddenly laughed, are you not afraid that I would deceive you? Because of this, I don't want to have that kind of situation. The man in the strange robe also had a smile on his face and gently explained actually, it's not a particularly big thing, it's just that the Grandmaster should take action to purify some demonic Kai. The location is a bit special, I think the Grandmaster will not refuse. Otherwise, the Grandmaster's confidants and the friend named Li Cheng might be in trouble. The other party threatened Yang Chen with people next to Yang Chen, and Yang Chen was not surprised at all. These guys might have been watching since the four girls left the gathering point, just waiting for Yang Chen's attitude. But what Yang Chen couldn't understand was that these guys dared to attack Li Cheng. Not to mention that Li Cheng was the first cultivator who he couldn't see through after Yang Chen's rebirth, just to mention that Li Cheng cut off the head of the Great Elder with one sword strike, he believed that few people in this world would dare to provoke him. Were these people's brains broken or were they deliberate? After thinking about it, Yang Chen seemed to know the reason. Maybe when these people investigated, they didn't even know that Li Cheng had killed a great elder. Except for Yang Chen and Li Cheng, those people in the gathering place at that time were all scared and afraid to speak about it. They didn't say a word, how could they tell others about such embarrassing things? The group of the strange robed man didn't even find out Li Cheng's details, and they even dared to use Li Cheng to threaten Yang Chen. He was afraid they only knew that Yang Chen and Li Cheng had a few drinks, so they thought they were good friends. This was used to threaten Yang Chen, they didn't know how far Yang Chen and Li Cheng were involved with each other. Yang Chen wanted to see the other side of the group of cultivators being rude to Li Cheng, when he suddenly realized that Li Cheng was not a lamb to be slaughtered, but a fierce tiger. It's just that Gao Yu, Shai Shanshan and his women were involved, so Yang Chen had to be a little more cautious. What's the matter? Yang Chen finally said, asking him proactively. It's very simple, Grandmaster, we want you to purify some demonic Kai. The man in the strange robe suddenly showed a relaxed smile on his face. Yang Chen asked, then there was a door to the matter we are just going to go deep into the demon continent. What's the advantage? Yang Chen still talked like when negotiating with the hallmaster of the greatest heaven sect, with naked interests. Spirit stones, medicinal pills, magic weapons, grandmaster, you can get whatever you want. The man in the strange robe was even more happy. Since he asked for a reward, then everything was easy to understand. The trouble that could be solved with the spirit stone was not a problem at all. Enjoy, he seemed to remember something, and immediately added if the Grandmaster likes beautiful women, it will be even simpler. Four datching stage cauldrons, when the Grandmaster wants them, they will be sent to the Grandmaster. He can't help but say that the tone of the man in the strange robe was really too big. 
the spirit stone, magic weapon in front was okay, after all, it was something outside of the body, but he was so easy to send four dashing stage beauties, and they were still cauldrons, which can't help but make people be amazed by his mastery. Those are four dashing stage masters. Those who could cultivate to the dashing stage were not easy to find, especially the beautiful women who are rare. Where could they be willing to be human cauldrons? Especially to be a furnace for an early union stage descendant. Unless it was to a distinguished person like the master of the greatest heaven sect, it may be possible. He didn't know the identity of the man in the strange robe, so he dared to make such a promise, which made people wonder what exactly he was asking for. No matter what he was going to do, one thing was certain. It was by no means a trivial matter to invite Yang Chen at such a high price. Analyzed according to common sense, if the benefits were not more than ten times or dozens of times the remuneration to outsiders, this business would never be done. Yang Chen was really curious about such a big thing. But Yang Chen was also well aware of the risks involved, and after a little thought, he asked again with such a large capital, it must be dangerous to go deep into the demon continent. How can you ensure my safety? Without waiting for the man in the strange robe to answer, Yang Chen continued also, Li Cheng is a friend of mine. I really hope to see him, I wonder if you can meet my small request. This kind of thing, pulling Li Cheng also along, presumably a lot of fun things will happen, Yang Chen can't help but look forward to it. If you're enjoying the content, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe to Fantasy World for more.